Club presents fourth meal. And we're back. Whose water is that? That's a big That's a gallon? Truck. Holy <laughs> shit. All right, we'll talk about it. All right, <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on. Let's just roll. We're rolling. <laughs> oh, my God. Five. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Five is clearly still doing the water. You know what's crazy? I get a lot of DMs like, yo, just listen to the pod. Got me drinking water. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. How's the water coming? And I'm like, oh, I fell off. <laughs> Actually, I've been doing good on my I, I got my Stanley though, you know. Pre hype. Yeah. You know, yeah. pre hype. No collab. No, but uh, is that a gallon? It's supposed to be a gallon. I ordered a gallon. No, nah, that's a gallon. That's, that's, that's a gallon. A gallon. And a half. That's a that's big <laughs> mock <mock-up. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> you gotta lift it with two hands. Oh shit! Wait, is that all you? Did you refill it? Or is that all you drank today? Well, you gotta, I had water. You gotta put more damage, bro. That's no, nothing. I, no. So I had one liter already before I filled this. But yeah. So he, he had, all right. So fi- whoever's not watching on YouTube and just listening, five has a fucking arrowhead, <laughs> big old gallon, as and big it as has it has like the time like to help you, and it, he's at seven a.m. And we're recording at uh, we're recording PM. at four p.m. <laughs> Let me see. You got it a lot of seven, work. <laughs> it says seven a.m. There, bro. Yeah. You got to pump those numbers up, Jack. <laughs> oh man! So you used um, the bathroom before this? Oh, I did. Oh, you shit. did. All right. Yeah. Wait, are you doing the gallon still? Yeah. Steady. Yeah. And ten thousand steps. Uh, you making <laughs> Stone Rock proud? All right. Ten thousand steps. I fell off for a few days. It's so. not easy. No, it's, it's not in LA. Hard, it's not easy. Yeah, yeah. But you gotta go to Disneyland I'll be like every day. I know. Yeah. But, but so yeah. this weekend I went to uh, we went to Solvang. Well, I went to Santa Barbara and then Solvang. Yeah. Got a little wine. Nice. Have you ever seen the movie Sideways? No, I haven't. Incredible, cult classic. Gotta yeah, check cult it out. Cla- Literally, like it's it's. I I only I actually got introduced to it like maybe three four years yeah. ago. So pretty late. Yeah. Because the movie's from like oh yeah. four two thousand four. And then I think Johnny Barba and like Izzo, I was going to Solving for the yeah. first time. They're like, oh, you got to watch Sideways. Yeah. I was like, what? And then Johnny's like, yo, it's right up your alley. Yeah. Like, dude's emo. And I was just like, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Fell in love with the shit. Incredible movie. It's so it good. It got high praises when it came out. So I watched it. And at the time, you know, I was, didn't know much about wine. It was like 05, mm-hmm. 04, 05. And, uh, all I remember took away from that movie was Merlot never sucks. drink Merlot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not fucking drinking Merlot. Yeah. yeah. So, so I didn't drink Merlot. I still to this day I still don't drink Merlot. Dude, so <laughs> that's fucking crazy cuz I, I always would hear people talk shit about Merlot and never knew why. Just from that, yeah. Yeah. And I would be like, yeah, yeah, nah, I don't drink Merlot, but I didn't know the reason, right? Yeah. So, uh what a month ago maybe, 2 months ago I went to Napa. Yeah. And went to to like a taste a little tasting uh at Camus, yeah. mm-hmm. and um, the lady like brought a Merlot, and she was like, "Yeah." She goes, uh, "Merlot have like a bad rep because of the movie Sideways, but like <laughs> it's one of our be- yeah. best blends type thing." And or, I'm just, yeah, like she was like, like people re- like like one little movie that could have been just written in, yeah. in there as a joke, really. Wow, like, and, and I'm not saying it, it was a joke, but I'm just saying yeah. like there's people that don't prefer. What is it too dry? Merlot is typically drier, or yeah, is just it? honestly, I don't like Merlot for real, though. Like, it just, yeah, I know. So, I'm asking, I'm asking why it's a little drier. Um, I like my wines a little more bold, so like, but not too bold. So, I'm between like Pinot and Cab, mm. oaky. <laughs> hey, oaky. <laughs> <laughs> I like my wines oaky. Uh, no, so dude, so yeah, the lady was like, nah, like. It, it tasted fine. That's why there's a lot of Merlot blends. Actually, Merlot's used a lot in like you know wine blends. But a lot of wine enthusiasts or we call them winos, they don't drink Merlot. Oh, I'm a wino, yeah. but not an enthusiast. But any, anyway, uh, went down there. Uh, incredible time. Yeah. And um, no, so what I was saying was did a lot of walking. Yeah, tons mm. of walking from like hotel to one yeah. lo- restaurant to the wine thing. Boom, boom. And so I got back to the hotel later on. It's just like I was like. 7,000 steps. I was like, damn, that was going to be like 15,000. So, yeah, 10,000 oh, is not not easy. Yeah. 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 It's not easy. It's, it's hard not. to do. Gallon of water is pretty easy if you start early and you're just going throughout the day. And um, Well, it definitely helps to have one of those bottles like a big that. big <laughs> Yeah. I mean, he's at 7, 7 a.m. Because you well, can, no, no, you can see your progress throughout the day, right? <clears throat> I fill this to the top, but I'll... 
I filled it to the top. I also had one liter already. So, I mean, so it, your, it should be right. It should be like right here. Mm, it how's the like, cold plunge? Amazing. <laughs> I haven't done it in like uh, four or five days. And um, <laughs> I, did it this morning, I haven't done it in minutes. like four or five hours. <laughs> it was amazing, man. You know, felt like I got healed. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's very, it has healing go. powers. It's like spiritual. Yeah. When you walk, like when you leave the plunge, you walk, I'm walking back home and I just feel uh -huh. like tingly and like, you know, wet. <laughs> Whoa. I saw, I saw you were at the Rhino this weekend. <laughs> there he is. Eating, I saw you were at the Rhino at five in the morning eating chicken strips, wings. Yes. Mozzarella sticks, loco moco. Okay. Uh, so it's about, life is still about balance, huh? You know what's crazy? A cold I plunge. Yeah. I'll be he meditating. Yeah, heal so I'm healed, but I'm like raging. <laughs> he he went off. from a three day water fast to a fucking. Three, you're eating anything. Three day bender. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm able to maintain. I'm actually like, I lost five pounds of water weight after the 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 fast. Your jug has five pounds of water <laughs> weight. This jug is like at least two pounds. But yeah, it's wild. But you know, it's balanced. I'm a. I'm going to do another fast before we go to Japan because I know I'm going to be on nice. a bender again. So oh, When shit. do you leave? Next week. Damn, so jealous. Wednesday. Wow. Feel free. Pull up on me. Nice. Yeah. Two last minute. <laughs> Dude, the flights are still I was in Paris though. earlier. Oh, yeah. From my couch watching <laughs> watching the uh, Pharrell's Louis Vuitton show. Yeah. Round trip? Cowboys. No, but round trip to Japan, even Six, like right seven? now. What do you think? Uh, Zip Air was like, what? Last week we looked, it was like 300, right? Or 400. What? Dude, Zip Air is three. Well, Zip Air. Yeah, Zip Air. It's like Southwest. 12 hours on yeah. Southwest to Japan. Fuck. Oh, yeah. It's like, the, it's no, it's like you pick your seats, but still, like, it's oh, okay. like a budget yeah. there. It's not fucking uh, A13. No. Trying to <laughs> you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> fucking C C28. Yeah, stuck I in a middle seat to, to, fly, to like, Japan. More, yeah, I refuse to fly more than three hours on Southwest. Ooh. That's wild. I used to do uh, Southwest to Miami, but for oh, yeah. Lauderdale. For Lauderdale, yeah. But it would always be a, con a connection, mm -hmm. which I didn't mind because mm. like gives you a little break. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> get to stretch, walk. Yeah, it's a long ass day, but I was like, eh, I get to yeah, for sure. Take a break and shit. Anyway, uh, PJ, what's up? What's hey, PJ, PJ, Peach. <laughs> hey, Peach. Is that I've ever? always wondered where you guys got that from. <laughs> I got that from ever. I, don't know. I got it from yeah. ever. Hey, Peach, yeah, but where did he get it from? I don't know. Honestly, <laughs> it's just, maybe from the station because he would always like try to scare me at, at times. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he he even Sounds caught right. a couple on video where like he was hiding <laughs> behind like a <laughs> like a photocopy machine. He was like, Rah! and I was like, ah! <laughs> that's like that's the he legendary that. fucking ever shit scaring the shit out of people. No, but he'll be at like the station. We'll be here. He'll be sitting in front of me. And he'll still scare me. Like he'll like clap and shit. Yeah. Oh, his claps are fucking oh, like wow. fucking thunder insane. sounds and shit. Yeah, <laughs> insane. Um, you're you're also like a little health like workout freak. I tried to. Uh, you I've were been, you were like a CrossFit guy at one point. I remember. Yeah, because my brother owns a CrossFit, and then I, I figured it wasn't kind of for me because they're into like heavy lifting, mm -hmm. yeah. and I don't want to really break my back. I have bad knees, so yeah. I had to like kind of go somewhere else or like. Maybe F45 was my yeah. my thing. Okay. So F45 is just like functional 45, yeah. like squats, push-ups, Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Correct. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And it's you ever see him in there? No, I wish I did, man. I'd freak yeah, out. He pulls dude. up, I heard. In he Vegas. Was, uh, in Vegas. I think no, to even here too, in Hollywood. He Hollywood? showed up. Oh, I, I go used to the one to, in Glendale. That's why. <laughs> okay. Uh, I used to go to this one a lot right, right here on Sunset. Dude. Tyler, Tyler saw him at one of them. Yeah, yeah. The day before I went. At the oh, same, the Hollywood yeah. one. Yeah, we used to go to that he one. Like, up, bro. Religiously, like seven a.m. It like be a group of, group of us, like Greg, mm. Tyler. Um, Dude, they were do, Greg and Tyler did two a days at F forty five. Yeah, and then he would go That's run crazy. at the reservoir wow. after. Jeez, I just yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Maniacs, man. Um, so how often are you going? Well, lately I just had a baby, so that kind of took congrats. a turn. Congrats! <laughs> congrats! <laughs> Thank congrats. you. He's a uh, four and a half months. Um. But before he was born, I was we'll going... We'll ask you about that later. Yeah. Before <laughs> before he was born, I was going pretty much like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. So four out of seven. And I was feeling good. Yeah. And then when he was born, I was like, oh, damn. Uh, are you are you into like all the psycho shit, like five? Like, oh, fucking... Cold plunge? <laughs> Fasting, like, uh, oh, four-day water fast. No, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. Like, meaning like... You know, like just very disciplined, I would say, not psycho shit, but you know, no, it is. <laughs> you know, it's hard. 
<laughs> it's psycho <laughs> shit, but yeah. yeah. That's hard to do, man. I I, I can probably it's go... It's discipline. It is, yeah. it is. I can probably go without eating for like 12 to 15 hours. Like, yeah. let's say if we eat oh, last that's night... Light. That's yeah. light. Yeah. light. 12 to 15, that's light. Well, let's say if... You yeah, have, even like a, a actual good intermittent fast is 16, 16 right? 16, yeah. Okay, eight, I'll try eight, 16 then. Yeah, you eat for eight hours and then 16 Basically, off. if you skip breakfast and you have your first meal around one or two, like you're... In That's what I normally do because I'll, I'll like eat one around. to nine, right? Yeah, like, but one. also you have to like your last meal's got to be like by seven, eight p.m. Okay, got it. During okay. the week, I don't know. Got I'm it. not that disciplined. Got it. And well, we hours, bro. That's rookie numbers, bro. <laughs> got pump it up, boy. <laughs> and PJ, we play basketball. We play basketball together too. Oh yeah, yeah. I haven't seen him there lately though. <laughs> Why? Because I had a baby. You know? <laughs> oh, okay, got it. Got oh, it. that explains it. I'm sure Pat hasn't been right. Are you good at basketball? Pat hasn't been either. I don't know. Ask Scratchy if I'm good at basketball. Is he good at basketball? He's good, yeah. Man. He's good too, he bro. He can shoot. No, I know shot. he has a shot. I've seen him. Yeah. I've Very seen Scratchy slow, play. though. You're slow? Oh, yeah. You're a shooter, though. You just yeah. pull up. Just pass me the ball. Who has <laughs> a better three-point shot, uh, Scratchy or E-Man? Wow. <laughs> well, E-Man kind of travels before he shoots the ball. <laughs> <Wow>. A little <laughs> bit. I mean, oh, he, he has like a head he start? Does. He doesn't even dribble. Wait, wait, he just wait. takes it and... And then shoot. <laughs> he does. does he shoot like overhead like this? Oh, oh my bro. God. like Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> no, I used to play back in the day. You used to play. Basketball. I used to play basketball <laughs> no when, when, I, when I lived in Cerritos. So I used to play with these older like uh, Filipino guys. Oh yeah, and then. Most of them would shoot like this. It was like I don't know. It was, Yo, Filipinos, but they would make it though. All right, what's give me the history lesson? Why do Filipinos love basketball? Like, what's the thing? <laughs> I feel like they, if they can't make it to the NBA, like Jordan Clarkson or the other Filipino half black guy. Who's the other one? I forgot his name. Uh, uh, fuck, I forgot his name. He's still in the league now? He's still in the league okay. right now. There's two half black, half Filipino. I, I know uh, Jordan was. Yeah. They, they probably can think they can make it to the PBA. And I, I thought that too. Oh, wow. But obviously I didn't. <laughs> But that's that's the history, Jordan Clarkson. <laughs> no, but yeah, I, I, I never knew no, that because I just went to the Philippines recently and literally, like, everywhere. It's, they love basketball. Basketball, basketball and karaoke. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> basketball yeah. and karaoke. Yeah. 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 Karaoke. Yeah. Big, the sure. biggest. Big <laughs> business. Filipino, you know? Yeah, yeah. Big business in the Philippines. For sure. Yeah. So there's no like. Yeah, I'm not sure. There's no. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. We'll look it up. Yeah. Look, <laughs> yeah fact check that. Scratchy. Yeah. Um, shit. Well, welcome, bro. How you feeling? Are feeling you good, man? Are you getting some sleep? Wait, four, year, four months old. That means your son is. Getting six <laughs> hours straight, or wow, is he like, at eight? You're almost there. He's like four to six hours. Four to six hours. Okay. Wow. Yeah. He was born on uh, August 25, so we were hoping like, oh, is he going to be born on Kobe Day, like 8:24? Oh, wow. oh. Yeah. Was that going to determine uh, the, the name? name change? Possibly. Maybe the the what's, middle. What's name? his name? Cameron Sire. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we call him Cam or Kill a Cam or Caminator, nice. you know? Kill a, <laughs> damn, Kill a Cam. Oh, Caminator? Bro, four months yeah. old. I like bro, that. Chill. <laughs> Already a killer. Yeah. Already a killer. Um, so f four to six hours of sleep right now. Yeah, but the first two months were kind of brutal, man. Like, basically, you had to, like, feed him, like, every one hour to two hours. And then oh, he can't shit. go to sleep right away. You have to, like, burp, burp um, him, yeah. sit him up so he can digest. And then you don't want him to throw up on you, so... It takes about 45 minutes. I was even timing it like at three. Okay, cool. Let's see when he goes down. Oh my God, it's 3.45 in the morning. <laughs> how, oh my God. Fuck. How, how much do you uh, recommend having a kid? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be sold otherwise. You know, like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you definitely lose sleep. But at the end of the day, when it's he looks good, in your eyes, the best, yeah, okay, it's the best feeling. Ever. That's what I. That's what the I. The best feeling. You, that's perfect. You man. can't change it. Nothing. It's priceless. Like he's just like, oh my god. Okay, whatever you want, I'm gonna do for you. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. I will, that's awesome. I will die bro. for you. You know, that's, awesome. that's how it is. That's that's perfect. I feel that way the, with my dog. The less I'm sleep, anyways. So it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm getting better sleep actually. I uh, I, I've been getting better sleep. Nice. There you go. So you, like I said, it come. My insomnia comes and goes. Man, check my ring. I, I think I got a last night. I got ninety one. Finally, did you get a ninety one? Because so we got Sunday. the aura ring. right? Yeah, I gotta get one of those. I've seen you guys. Talk the about the Rhino night only slept three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're. Let's see. I got a eighty four. Eighty four. Not yeah. bad. Eighty four score. Nice. nice. I think the highest sleep I've ever like number is probably like a ninety one. 
Uh, or I've 92. had 93 once. Yeah, yeah. 93. Okay. And how many hours is that? That was like, so. it depends. Yeah, it also depends. Like, it, it, it's not on hours. It's yeah. like your, your timing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Your REM, your deep. Your REM what and deep time? got to be yeah. like over an hour. Mm. Like, first time, like, <clears throat> last night, I've had all blue in like a while. So all my, like, stats were all like, you know, nice. in, in the blue, which is a good, it's a good thing. So how's your sleep now? It's getting better. I mean, we're taking turns. Wifey, he still breastfeeds and um, he's on formula. So mm. obviously I can't give him my breast, you know? <laughs> so when <laughs> she's breastfeeding, I'm like, see ya. <laughs> Do you like ever hold him with your shirt off and he tries to like go for it? <laughs> yeah, and I've seen a, an IG reel where like <laughs> yeah, someone will put a paper one. of my, the, the mom or an iPad like stuck like this and you're holding him so he's just like okay it's mommy <laughs> but i haven't tried that yet but i feel oh like they can God. really sense your smell the yeah. feel and everything <clears throat> oh really yeah. so if you try to trick them they're, they're gonna start crying because wow. wow. they know the mom obviously. how many kids do you want <laughs> <laughs> wrong time to ask. <laughs> no i mean it's a good time i would probably say maybe one more so he has a playmate okay okay yeah because one i feel like he might be lonely and then we're gonna be stuck playing with him and like he wants someone like his age and like his height. Yeah, you have yeah. skill level. You have siblings. Yeah, I have two older brothers. I'm the okay. youngest. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think we all have siblings yeah. here. So yeah, I, I don't know how it would be a lonely Same, child. Yeah. Was it hard doing gigs while having your newborn? Um, it kind of was because I would have to tell wifey like, "Yo, you might have to like take it, take one for the team while I go out to yeah. Sevilla or." to OC or Vegas, but I always come back right away, like the first yeah. flight. Okay. And I don't sleep, so that's hard. So like when yeah, I come yeah. back, she's like, all right, here you go. I'm like, dude, <laughs> I have no sleep either. So yeah. you're now you're more mindful with like the alcohol com consumption. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> but, but here's the thing though, I don't drink as much as you guys though. You know, Whoa. What do you mean? Wow, no. feel attacked. <laughs> you, did you quit drinking? No. So here, I, okay, no, 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 okay, go ahead. Let, go ahead, let, go me, ahead. let me let me finish. Uh, <laughs> let me finish. Because we did New Year's together. Oh, shit. oh, that's right. That was fun. Had you know had me a little bottle of forty two. I said yeah. I'm gonna get peachy a shot. Let's set it off. Man, fuck yeah! I turned around like it was like on the floor, and I was like, well, okay, he just didn't want to like. Oh, spill like he it. spilled it on the floor. No, no, no like oh. he like set it on oh, the floor. It. The, the yeah, cup. Yeah. And I was like, bro, you take your shot. You're like, oh yeah. And he gra went up and grabbed it. And like, bro, did you quit drinking? He was like, no, I'm driving. I was like, okay, mm. you get a pass. Well, the reason why but, I put it on the floor was because I get like OCD about DJ equipment. I just don't like shit falling on a wire or the mixer. No, yeah, I get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but, I put it on the floor. But, but it was ahead. still full. So anyway, yeah. Yeah. did you quit drinking? <laughs> I didn't quit drinking, but I do have, uh, the, I get the Asian glow. I don't know if you guys oh, wow. too. You yeah. were the first person that I ever heard say that ever. Bro, really? I'm talking years ago. And he took like Pepto Bismol. Oh, Pepsi uh, AC. Yeah. Pepsi oh, AC. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's okay. Trick. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. took the, the, the Pepsi AC. Pepsi AC. Does it work? Yeah. Pepsi. Yeah. It works. Really? Yeah. yeah he took it before that. you drink. You don't turn around. You got to take it like 30 minutes before you think you know you're going you're gonna to drink. And I have a story about that too with you mm. guys. But yeah, you got to take it like 30 minutes before like 1 30. And then you think 2 o'clock you're going to drink. How did you find this hack? It's a thing. It's a no thing. Yeah. Filipinos. Oh, okay. Well, he didn't know. Damn, he's Filipino. I mean, I heard about it. I just never. But it did works it. though. Scratchy. It yeah. does yeah, work. It does okay. work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've heard about this like since back. But what, like, what was the story you're gonna say? So basically, there was a story when we were all in Vegas. I know you two guys were playing at XS, mm -hmm. and I finished my gig in Vegas. The good old days. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I miss Vegas. I, I met you guys up, and I was like, "Cool, man!" Like, they're about you guys were about to finish. I think you guys took a party bus to Chaos when it was open. At oh Palms. my damn! That and was, was a really long time ago. Huh? There was it was. I remember it was. I think you were there too. I'm not too oh, sure. Okay. Fuck, I don't remember. Both that. of you guys were there. <laughs> damn, we took a party bus to Vegas uh, to Chaos. And damn, oh, I remember. And they, you had your bag on you. I think or I they did. My, something happened. Something happened. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm with guys that are about to drink. I'm like, fuck. So I put a couple Pepsi ACs in a tissue in my pocket. That's right. Oh, right. Do you remember this? No. So I'm supposed to take it. I should have taken it like in the party bus. Yeah. So when we got down, I was it was a lot of excitement, a lot of things going on. Like, oh, go inside. Ask for this guy. So I was the last one. And they're like, cool, empty out your pockets. I'm like, okay, cool. And then oh, I was like, oh shit. shit. I forgot to fucking take it. Yeah. And they're like, what is this? And I was like, it's Pepsi AC, man. Like, I get the Asian glow. I, I turn red, I'm Filipino. 
Like, listen, I'm with Five and Deluxe. I just finished DJing. We're all DJs. Like, I don't do drugs. Like, look, I don't do drugs. Like, I don't smoke. I, I rarely drink. And no offense to anyone that does any of those three. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Cigarettes, whatever. But I, I don't do drugs. Everyone knows that, right? So No offense, Five. None taken. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, what is this? I'm like, it's Pepsi. And I turn red. And the, I get the Asian glow, so it brings down the acid levels, right? I'll snort this in front of you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and watch, nothing happens. <laughs> he's like, bro, you already know what this looks like on camera. He's like, you can be 86th from chaos. And I was like, I understand that. But I was like, I'm friends with five and deluxe. Like, I'm a DJ. You didn't, you didn't have your Pepsi, uh, like, was it no, called? No, it package? was in the tissue uh, in my pocket. So what is this? Is this just like a little white pill or it's something? It's a little white ass pill. Oh, my oh so, God. so it, it could be anything, really. It could be anything, yeah, yeah, yeah. for all we know. So he's like, bro, like, listen, since you're a DJ, how about this? Just go outside, show me that you're taking the Uber and hop in the Uber and get out of here. What? What? Wow. Yeah. It was a white guy. I forgot his name. Oh, But he was shit. actually pretty nice to me, though. Like, he was like, I could usually 86 you, but I'm going to be really nice to you since you're wow. nice to me. I was like, thanks, man. But honestly, it's really, I get It's actually Pepsi. It's fucking yeah. Pepsi, bro. Like, Holy I'm not lying shit. to you. Damn. I know, but I can't. I was like, okay, cool. So I'm like, damn, I'll take it in front of you right now. I'll show you. It's Pepsi. <laughs> then I see five there. I'm like, yo. And he's like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Wow. Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably lit. Oh, yeah, you guys were lit, though. That's why. And yeah, I wanted to be I there. I honestly don't remember. Yeah. You probably don't because I, I don't was, remember. I remember that. I remember that. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll drink. Definitely. <laughs> okay. Especially no, when I, I DJ, I have to like take the edge off. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But no, it makes sense that you slow down because fair. I can't imagine like trying to take care of a four month old, yeah, fucking hungover, oh, yeah, oh, at all. Hard. Like that's that's and gotta, if he's crying, like he kind of like there's enhan- like certain, enhances the headache, yeah, and like <laughs> I start sweating and get anxiety. I'm like, okay, what is it? Pamper food? Like, does he want his mommy or sweating, headache, anxiety? It sounds like a DJ gig. <laughs> <laughs> you, you might as well drink to take care of a kid. <laughs> but, yo, imagine, man, I can't. You know how people are like, I can't DJ, so I got to take the edge off, man. I can't take care of a kid, bro. I got to take the edge off. <laughs> Need a couple Takes shots. A shot. <laughs> damn. Fuck, dude. Yeah. God, I should damn. try that next time. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Don't take advice from me, bro. I'll, <laughs> uh, I'll take a Pepsi first, and then I'll do that. <laughs> yeah. So how how is life now um, as a dad for the first time uh-huh. in the last four months? Uh, what's the biggest challenge with work, life, family? balance you know the whole thing um life as a dad as of four and a half months is is honestly awesome like i said like even though they're crying and whatnot you don't know what they want but when he's like smiling and looking at you i, I can melt dude honestly yeah, it sounds yeah. like you want to cry right now yeah bro. it looks like i'm gonna yeah. cry uh, to be honest with you you could and that's another thing too like it looks like i'm crying or it looks like i'm faded but my you, eyes are always red and i oh. can't figure it out oh really oh, i don't even do drugs i don't like i said i don't smoke no weed. contact lenses i have contact lenses oh see that happens to me all the time too yeah so that's probably what it is <laughs> yeah. and like i'm looking at his eyes i'm like they're freaking bright ass crystal white. clear like, yeah. like, my eyes, he didn't like take yours. your eyes <laughs> 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 but yeah um back to your question what's so, the, yeah, the question is br- pretty much like um i guess there's people that will get that fire and like man i got like get that hustle want to grind take care of the family and there's people that are like want to take a step back and be home more like how do yeah. you feel so right now i feel like the first year of him being born i kind of want to be close to him present. and wifey and present very present and i want to be present throughout his whole life you know mm-hmm. like if i have like a gig in vegas and like let's say he has like a basketball game like at 8 30 on a saturday 8 30 a.m on a saturday morning I'm going to be there like at 7.30 to pick him up and take him. You're already mm. That's like making LeBron. him play basketball. What if he doesn't want to play basketball, bro? Oh, he's going to play <laughs> oh, basketball. Oh, he's going to play basketball. <laughs> he's, he's, basketball. He's, he's, he's Filipino. He's going to play basketball. Is your wife Filipino, Filipino too? <laughs> yeah, she's Filipino. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we got a full blood. Yeah. Nice. Uh, he's going to play basketball. Yeah, I for sure. karaoke. For karaoke. <laughs> you got to give him Pepsi at AC just in case. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think the first year, I kind of want to focus on like family first. And then I think after that, when he's like starting to walk, go hard i'm still kind of going hard right now but i go harder in 2024 yeah. you know okay yeah um and you have been with scam your scam for how long now um a little bit before the pandemic so that was about 
Damn, December well, 2019. That's like almost four years ago. Yeah, yeah December 2019. That's crazy. Actually, I remember when we used to play basketball, PJ would always ask me, like you had to ask me questions about scam. Yeah. Like, yo, man, how'd you get on scam? And I, w- I would tell you, right? Like, yeah. I, I would give him some advice on yeah. what to do and stuff. And he eventually got on, on his own. Yeah. You know? I feel like it was kind of on my own, but I feel like he sometimes does like ask for vouchers. Like, yo, Deluxe, how's PJ or Scratchy yeah. 5? Like, what do you guys think? You know, because yeah, yeah, I would that. probably do the same thing too. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. this is your business. You know, you want to do what's right for your business. What yeah. he really wants to know is, are they going to make me money? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it comes down to it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's up with these guys? Are they are they working? Can I get 15% of that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, but true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, really yeah. true. Hey, line. So early PJ days, when did you start DJing? Uh, 97. Oh, shit. Damn, yeah. for real? Uh, I was doing it. But you're a lot younger than us, too. Yeah, so I started DJing back in 97. I have two older brothers. Um... I think you might know Patrick. He's my oldest brother. Oh, so Paulo. Paulo is the the second Middle? one. Okay. Yeah, but Patrick was your class. I know you oh, went to Bell Jeff, and yeah. we you all went to went Providence. To Providence. Yeah. yeah. So he started DJing, and we started on vinyl mm-hmm. records. Um, yeah. But before that, he was like getting like two stereo speakers and like pressing record on one mm-hmm. and pressing play <laughs> on one, same, yeah. and trying to match it so he can like do a blend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn, that's pretty cool. And then when we got turntables. It was pretty much like, okay, cool. And now let's freaking go. Yeah, you know? yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, just the same typical like story as anyone else. Like, Were the first turntables techniques or techniques? Gemini? Yeah. Okay. Damn, but it was a long mixer and then turntable Lucky. and turntable. Yeah. But it wasn't. What's a long mix of the Gemini, Gemini or the Newmark? Uh, it wasn't one of those brand ones. Pyramid? Oh. But it was the long like rectangle ones. Mm. And it was channel, channel, channel. And then the crossfader was right here. So yeah. turntable and another turntable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you think is. Does your brother still DJ? No. So, so both you, of them, they don't. They don't. So what, what do you think it was with you that made you stick with it? And they just said, ah, fuck this shit. I'm going to go get a real job. <laughs> I, I think it was. Go make real money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was just the passion of, that I had for music. You know, like I, I got like so excited when like I was still learning and I can scratch in like Notorious B.I.G. One More Chance. And I threw it on when I was mixing a song and I was like, dad, I can freaking do it. Uh, and that shit was a fucking good feeling. No, yeah. for real. The first yeah. time I, so I am, dude. The first time I like blended a song, I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah. I, I learned you, it. Yeah. I, I got it. And then, like, yeah. I think I tried to blend another one. I was just like, "Because you, yeah. you had no concept of BPM." Oh no way. So like, no BPM. I would try to mix a house song with a hip hop song, not just it, not nothing knowing. Key, I'm like, yeah. uh, well, they both have like energy. <laughs> like you just think like energy with tempo, but yeah. like no, nah, this yeah, they were way off. <laughs> It yeah, was so fun learning, man. <clears throat> so fucking fun. Yeah. I remember, that, dude, Danny Dice had the turntables, and we, we were, like, super into house and yeah. hip-hop. So we mm-hmm. had, and, nice. then, and then we had, like, freestyle stuff from, like, fam, pat, uh, family members that would hand down freestyle shit, like Debbie Deb, you know, stuff like that. Oh, do you guys remember your first, like, vinyl record you guys ever bought? Yeah. Ooh, that's a good yeah. question. Yeah. The first one, I th- I, I've said it on the podcast before. Oh, okay. Yes. I it think was, we did say that. Yeah, it was... Uh, <laughs> Ever bought was we had to pitch in because because we didn't have a job at the time. So Junior, myself, and Danny we had we had to go buy one record. Oh, yeah. I remember this, yeah, yeah, and it, and we let Junior choose, yeah. and it was NWA Express Yourself, wow. Silk the Shockers version. <laughs> 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 like the fucking, wow. I don't know, ten Which year I anniversary. Don't even think I've ever heard of that version. Oh, but it's terrible. Funny. It's terrible. But Junior was a huge fucking like. Uh, no limit yeah. fan, oh, like shit. Silk, the Shocker, uh, Master P, all of them. See murder. Yeah. What, yeah. Was, what was yours? Uh, Karis <laughs> one out of here. Nice. Oh shit! And I think I bought two records, like Karis one and like a leader, Leaders of a New School from their second album. And those two songs did not mix. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then the rest was just scratch records for like yeah. the past. The t- I didn't learn how to mix really. Until two years after I started DJing. What was your first scratch record? Oh, fuck. It was like a rectangle. Yeah, yeah mine, mine was, was rectangle. Rectangle. Could, Mine was the Which b- color? baby blue. Yeah. yeah. Like the light blue rectangle with the yeah. yellow label. I, the yellow I still have too. it. Yeah, I, yeah, I've, I've, I still yeah, have me it. too. It was like a, ran, a rectangle and like a random Jazzy Gym record. Nice. And like, because we didn't have access to like the booger breaks and all that. The, <laughs> no, uh, yeah, the dirt style Until stuff. like an uh, actual like hip hop shop opened in Vegas like in like 94. 
95, I think. 94, uh, 95. I started like in like 93. So like a year later. Nice. Damn. Yo, those rect- rectangle records were heavy too. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. Yeah. Those shits were heavy. I had the white one, all white. Yeah. The white one, yeah. 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 And then there was a, like a gray one with like cracks in it. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. marble. Yeah. And then the, the writing was red, I, I think, in yeah. the middle. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are pretty freaking The white fire. one had I think like I a still random, have all yeah. those. The white one had a random a Beat Junkie shout out in it. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Nice. What was the first record you ever bought? Uh... John Forte, wow. 99, Flash the oh, Message. Shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think it was yeah. a yellow label yeah. in the middle. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Damn. Fire. I think Fire. it was from Forte. Backside, too, Burbank. Wow. So we oh, bought really? two. Yeah. Damn. Like three ninety nine a pop. Damn, shit. Backside. So $4. That's not there anymore, right? No, that's yeah. gone. It's long gone. I think my first record was Outcast Elevators. Damn. Ooh. That's a good record. What year was that? That's a good first and record. And I think the same day I bought... So so Def All Stars, my boo. Ooh. So you can make yeah. those two records. <laughs> you can make those two <laughs> for zero sure. chance of those blending. Yeah, but I still have those records. Damn, yeah. damn. What was some of your favorite record stores growing up? Um, backside for sure, because it was always. Did you cheap. have access to like hitting Melrose and shit like that? Sometimes DMC. Damn. Mm. Yeah, there was another shop in Alhambra. I think it was called World Records. Oh, World oh, yeah. Records. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Sometimes had, I would go to Rockway Records. Yeah, yeah, they, they had battles there. there. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I would go to Rockway Records on Los Feliz. I didn't even know that one. Oh, yeah. But it would just have like just albums only. Uh, okay. Yeah. But like just mainly Backside. I didn't really go out of the yeah. city. How was Backside? Because that was definitely not a record store I would hit. But how was their like collection back then or selection? Um, at that time, it was mainly singles. So it was always. Which is the, what we wanted. Yeah. So it was always in the front. And then when they extended it, it was, you go down the steps. Yeah. Remember that? They had yeah. like a secret room. Yeah. And oh, I wow. was like, oh shit, this is yeah. dope. So I would probably spend like maybe 100 to 150, but like on double ups, you know? So, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I did like a. <clears throat> Mr. Chalk did like a radio show out of there. Wow. I think they did, did have a guest a, set from, wow. with him. They had a setup over there, I think, yeah, before. Yeah. By the window, right? In the yeah. front? Yeah, yeah. This is like oh, later, yeah, yeah, yeah. At, did, way did. after like the vinyl, it, it huh. was, the vinyl store. It was like, because, you know, then it became like a shoe store. Yeah. Really. Oh, yeah. With, yeah. Nikki. with Nikki. That was like yeah. the first, oh, pre, yeah. That's where the first location was. Pre-Mag Park. Yeah. yeah, so that was yeah. like, that they kind of just figured it out. Like just, but yeah, that's a store I like miss, kind of. Miss that shit. I like Norwalk Records, though. <clears throat> wow, I've never been to that one. Yeah, yeah. Norwalk Records. So, uh, Norwalk was a shit, bro. Yeah. Uh, and I just recently heard they closed. I didn't know Damn. they closed. Mm. Not recently. I think yeah. they closed a while ago, but I I heard the news. Mellow D told me so. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Did you ever right. go and, Puba and our, Records in Pasadena? I, I went recently. It's oh, still it? open? Yeah, still Whoa, there. Shit. Yeah, they got some shit too, bro. Oh, shit. Same location? It looks like a little I, house? Uh, different location. Oh, uh, different damn. location. The first location was dope. Yeah, it's not the same location, but but it's still in Pasadena, and it's still they still got some shit. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Nice. Yeah. Or uh, Canterbury Records, you know that one in Pasadena? Uh, yeah, that one. I've sucks. seen that one. But I would only that's go. I would like only VHS go there now. to buy the M forty four seven stylus, though. Uh, okay. Because nobody really knew to buy them. Uh, there. They got the sick logo. Yeah. Like yeah, around yeah. one, but that's, I never really bought records. That's like, got my Target, they, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that. still it's still there, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They sure. barely even have records though. I went. Oh really? Yeah, I was kind of disappointed. Mm. It's like felt like I was in a Blu-ray disc store. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, what the hell? <laughs> I hope those come back, man. Like vinyl. <laughs> DVDs. Or fat beats DVDs, and lost yeah. I hope, yeah. No, th- dude, we went. There's a well, that, no, yeah, there's a store Burbank. in Burbank, bro. It's like uh really? oh, like, yeah. uh, but it's mainly VHS oh, it? though, right? No, both. It's a store it rental, back. video rental. Yeah. Wow! Like you literally go in there and rent a DVD or a, or a VHS. Wow, that's yeah. interesting. It's like a terrible <laughs> business model, but yeah, <laughs> I still have like yeah, I still have a DVD. Yeah. yeah, no, for real. Like it must be someone yeah. that's just rich and like just says fuck it. No, so I was at like the homie's house this weekend or this last week, and then um, in Malibu, and then it's nice ass house. Oh, mm. I mean, come on. We're then, friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The homie. We randomly ran into him while we were eating. So he invited us over and went over. Rob Deerdick? No. Oh. <laughs> and then, uh, dude, like, <clears throat> beautiful home. And then he has a DVD collection. Really? I was like, oh, I was like you watch these? Like, yeah. Dude, I still have all my DVDs, yeah. bro. And You still have a DVD player? Too, yeah. I, I have an Xbox. I have a bunch. Oh, of got so it. So I was watching. It's funny because I don't know, know if you remember uh, Fade to Black, the Jay-Z. Oh, yeah. I think now it's available for streaming but finally, it oh, yeah. but it wow. wasn't forever. It wasn't yeah. on anything. I would watch it from my DVD. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Wow. Yeah. Damn. That was a good, like, 
was like a documentary kind of, right? Oh yeah, it was yeah. like it was like a like behind the scenes of the yeah. tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was so sick. dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so started in ninety seven. Mm-hmm. Ninety seven. When did you figure this is going to be the thing you do for a living? Um, I feel like like when you didn't have to have a a, a job. I feel like once I got hopped on Power 106, mm. I felt like I was like, okay, I think this could be it. Cause, you know, when like, was that again? This was in 2010. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah. So I first started working at Moving 9 through 9 Street Team. Wow. Yeah. Shout out to my boy, Lawrence, who kind of like vouched me and get, get, got me in. And then I hopped over to Power 106 Street Team. Which was in the same building for reference. Same building. It's like mm. the same owner, but but move in was all right. So move in used to be a country station. Mm. It was called. Uh, uh, it was with Rick D's. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. before that. Okay, okay. It was a country station, and it was uh, it was big news because it was the only country station in L.A. Mm. And they turned pop, so <laughs> you can imagine the like hate calls Power was getting. Ooh. Because I remember I knew the receptionist yeah. at the time, and she was getting a lot of hate calls, mm-hmm. like just fucking talking shit. Like, what the fuck? You know, you go from a country, the only country yeah. station in LA to um, KZLA, I think it was called, something like that. I think so. Um, I actually have a, found a vintage tea of theirs no at way. the flea market. I have it. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, so they switched, and it's just like, goes from fucking... <laughs> Country to yeah. Lady Gaga, yeah. and it was like Damn. a tough thing, and it, yeah, and then, then they brought in mm-hmm. Rick D's, which was like the the legendary Kiss FM morning guy. Didn't have a job for a while. Wow, came back. Yep, came back. So it was like big news, and then I don't know, fuck, I don't know where they they flipped that station to. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, same building. So, so you're. Goal was to get on power in the first place, right? And then yeah, it was like a big goal because obviously you know I've I've seen <clears throat> the blueprint of like you know you and Sife with Budo Body, and then like obviously a whole generation of like Vice and Echo and that whole thing. I was like, damn, that's so dope because we would all my brothers we would all be fans, you know, like of recording their mixes, your mixes, and whatnot. Dude, I it's funny. I still I was uh I bought this like portable tape player. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. In oh, the Japanese the cassette one? player. Oh, I think I saw that on your story. Yeah, it was a Japanese one, and I was like, <clears> it's super <throat> cool. It's green, and, and um, I was looking through my tapes, and I saw a DJ Echo one. Uh oh. And mm. I started playing, and it says his name with like a, uh, you know, the remember the whiteout markers? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I sent the video of it playing to Echo and Vice, and then Echo's like, why does that tape have my name? <laughs> <laughs> I said, because wow. it's you. Listen. And it was like his fucking scratching. Cuts, yeah. I didn't have his drop. Uh, I was just playing him his cuts. And I was like, I want to see if you can hear. I could I could probably play it for you guys. Yeah. Well, uh, well, let me ask you this, though. Can that be converted to an MP3? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So wow. it has oh, a USB shit. thing on it. That's dope. So I, I, yeah. I will do that. Oh, but shit. That's dope. Let me see if I can find this. Was it quick. expensive? Uh, It was like 150 Okay. You know, it was like, it's Japanese, so they're, yeah. they're, they're going to tax. shipping. Yeah. You know? Um, But there's like off brands that I've seen you can get pro- for Damn, probably cheap. Yeah. I, I think I still have some cassettes. It's right here. Let's hear it. And then you, you, you see the name in there? <laughs> DJ. Oh, uh, yeah. Echo. Look at Anyway, but yeah. <laughs> Wait, who's on the mic? Uh, yeah, who yeah, who's that? that? On the mic? Bro, that's Sun Doobie. No way. What? Yes, Damn. bro. Sun Doobie had the night show at Power. Oh, wow. oh shit. If you that's know Funk Doobie. Funk Doobie. Right? Before yeah. he started doing Bow, porn? wow, wow. Yippee, yo. <laughs> I think oh. during. Wow. Yeah, because I think um, it was like. Wait, so oh, what it was year like was news that, that he was had, there a controversy? Had a porno out. <laughs> huh? What year was that? This was 2002 two? Oh, or three. Holy shit. Maybe two. Yeah, wow. 2002. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually. Wow. Maybe 2001. Jamboree playing in the background? Dang. Yeah. yeah. Great song. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, um, 
Yeah, I could turn. You, you see the Does USB thing on the, You see the <laughs> USB thing on the top. Jamboree. I know. Like right oh yeah. That, wow. Yeah. So I can, I can record. So just like plug into your iPhone, just find an app and record it. I got somehow? A, I don't know how to do it. I'm sure yeah, there's a what you can probably but, find on YouTube. <clears throat> anyway, YouTube. So yeah, same, bro. I was the biggest fan recording. Yeah. Chalk, yeah. Vice, yep. Echo, Mellow D mm-hmm. from, from Wake when up he show. was on the beat. Mm-hmm. Wake up show. Oh my God, bro. Yeah. It's just like that that was all that like that was access that we had to like people mixing on the yeah, radio. Yeah. And I think, you know, we didn't can't just go on YouTube yeah. and watch mixes yeah. the way no we way can that. now. Yeah. Back then it was like, all right, I'm already sick yeah. of my DMC VHS. Yeah. And then every weekend, bro, while my friends are partying, I'm, I'm staying yeah. home yeah. and I'm listening and recording. And then as soon as I'm they're done, I would go and and Practice. try to be them yeah. to the point where like I st- remember how we talked last week about AM era DJs yeah. and they all like scratch yeah. just like but even them. like I yeah was a little baby like yeah. Echo and Vice. I, I like started mm. sounding like them because that's all i knew i would yeah. you have them as my reference yeah i was in vegas at the time i would come visit and record shows i would record like e-man mellow whoever right go back to vegas listen to it and try to mimic exactly how you bring it you know like you play mm-hmm. instrumental bring the record in and that's how a dj club like not clubs but parties yeah and it's kind of pointless right if, you know you're not supposed like I told you, I had yeah, like yeah, a story about yeah. that. We, but we talked about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then War and Peace, I started like becoming friends with him. He was a big DJ in Vegas. I worked with him for years at Hip Hop yeah. Site. And then I opened for him. Oh, no, I play him a mix. He's like, oh, this, you know, it's a dope mix. But when you DJ, you don't need to bring in an instrumental all the time. Like, you actually <laughs> just drop the song because you're going to lose the momentum of the record. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, okay, makes sense. Yeah, but we were so you're right uh, influenced by what we radio, heard on the radio yeah. you, where, yeah. where we thought that's what we had to do. But on the radio, that's what they yeah. had to do mm-hmm. for like were just talk listening. breaks yeah. or sweepers. So that, yeah, that was a requirement on radio, right? Yeah, they were in the instrumental and you do the snare like ta 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 ta. But it was also that was part of it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah the yeah, fun yeah. part was bringing the actual song in. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. Because imagine you had a uh, Headstrong, right? Ooh, oh, or head, yeah, what is it? Headstrong. Headstrong. Yeah. 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 So stuff like that, you're like, oh my god, you you cannot. Just slam no, that. I would get excited. Have bro. Some, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get excited. Like, if I like record a mix, like, where, if I'm in town, because I would be visiting my like grandma uh-huh. in Cerritos, and I'll record, and like the DJ, whoever's on, like, they're like, it would be like a mellow three o'clock, whatever yeah. time mix, right? But he, he's just like kind of mellow mellow that day and he just like doesn't do any tricks i get so mad I'm like, <laughs> dude i i heard i used to hear a couple of melody mixes where he wasn't and i'm like oh i hear the next instrumental i'm like oh he's gonna go crazy yeah this yeah. is the doesn't song you go crazy yeah. to and he wouldn't do anything oh. i'd be bummed out <laughs> yeah and one of those songs yeah, yeah melody. i'm the same way i would record mellow's mixes one of those songs was when he plays shack straight playing when I hear oh, the instrumental, you're like, he's going to go crazy. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> what's the other one? Midnight Love. Oh, yeah. Um, Midnight Love. Oh, my uh, God. What's that Snoop one when he went to... Uh, In went California, Daz? Or? No. Oh, man. That Remember one. that one? Hell, when yeah. When he went to uh, No Limit. Uh, what's it called? Oh, uh, D- uh, P- J- yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He used to um, fuck that one up, too. Fuck, what's it called? Fuck. I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Top Dog or Top... Man. Oh, Top Dog was, I think, the name of the album. Yeah. Um, fuck. Now, e-, e man was uh, pistol grip pump. Yeah, uh, yeah. oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. pistol grip pump. He's, now he still the, plays it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he still goes crazy. So now on the radio, you can't do any of that, right? <laughs> uh, PJ, like they uh, discourage it, right? They, they, they uh, I don't know. I think does it fuck up the play counts, or I think at one point they didn't want you to do too much because it, it it turns people off so the rating system changed yeah it went from typical like i guess mailing in fucking yeah, ballots yeah. or whatever it was and then to it becoming a ppm yeah, uh, yeah. A pers- personal people meter yeah. mm. and that never seen one in my life i was like i've never seen one either never one seen or one. knew anybody never that had knew one one of anyone those? that had one but yeah. that dic- dictates who's mm. number one and who isn't which mm. is kind of like very weird. Yeah. So this meter supposedly is people carry it like 10 people <laughs> out of all of Los Angeles. <laughs> and that dictates who's has the number one ratings. That's so wild. it would be like supposedly like if they tune out, they wow. had data on like what song they tuned out during 
uh, where they went, right. where they came from, mm -hmm. like just mm -hmm. supposedly like all that data, which is I don't I don't even know how they had that. Info. And, and what's funny too is that when I used to do Power 106 Street Team events or Flavian events, they would tell me you always got to be nice to these people because you never know who's Who carrying has a meter, a PPM oh. meter. <laughs> Crazy. Wow. Crazy. I, That's funny. Yo, I, if I was on a street team at that time, I'd be like, yo, if you show me a fucking <laughs> PPM, PPM meter, meter <laughs> I'll give you this shirt or these tickets. <laughs> That's like a good one. Secret or these tickets to Powerhouse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. and then, uh, <laughs> yeah, and then you become their friend. Yeah. But I think it was actually, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was like illegal to ask if. You can't ask. You yeah, can't for sure. Ask. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't ask sense. to see if who had one. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's correct. Yeah. Um, which is bullshit. If I had one, I'd pull up to every radio station hit like, yo, yeah. rock it like a beeper. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, like on like in the nineties, put it on the side of my hat. <laughs> like I wonder if you can look out what it looks like. I know. <laughs> PPM. Meter? Yeah, yeah. Look PPM. it up. Personal people. Meter? Never uh, seen one. You never yeah, seen I have one. Never seen one either. Yeah, they probably don't even exist, bro. It's bullshit. Wait. So what is it? So it went from. So now it's PPM. I think it's still that. Is it I think still it's that? still PPM. Still PPM. Yeah, I think so. This, there's this no way. No way. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, whatever. But oh wow. wow. Yeah. Like it's gotta be like I don't fucking know. All right. So power. <laughs> what year what year did you join power again? Uh, 2010, 2010, 2010. To moving. Okay. To moving, right? How long were you on moving? Moving was two thousand seven. Oh, oh, so three oh, years. So you did it for three years. I did it for maybe less than six months and then I hopped over to Street Team. Okay, so when when we when you answered the question, you you mean you got on the radio in 2010. Correct. Okay, so you on started air. working at Power 2007. Got uh, it. At MS oh. in the building. Got it. Got yeah. it. Got it. 2007 and about like maybe a year <laughs> maybe 6 months later hopped over to Power 106 Street Team courtesy of a uh, Sour Milk's brother, Junior. Wow. Okay, oh. so Junior. They were the ones that brought me over because they were both on moving as well, and they moved over. Okay, nice. they were at moving too. I believe so for just a little little time. Okay, yeah. So moving was like the the starting kit right there, the stepping Power stone to get to power. <laughs> yeah, damn, it worked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I think that was when Biff, you know, Biff was I on know his Biff way out very well. Oh. Yeah. So that's why Biff? they had to find a junior and a charisma to fill in for Biff. So I'll, I'll tell you an interesting story. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever told this story. When I was on the street team, you know, I came up yeah, yeah. under Vice and Echo. Yeah. So uh, as much as I thought I had like a head start, I didn't. Yeah. Um, and then I, I had met I had met Mr. Chalk at eating shrimp burritos, yeah, which yeah. I just told on the last podcast. And E man and everyone, so I had to do the typical fill out an application. It's like a job, bro. Yeah, yeah. Application, you go for an interview, you go audition or audition first, and then you go on the interview. Mm -hmm. Did the audition? I was shy, nervous. You got to act like you're on the microphone, yeah. like mm -hmm. stumbling every word. Wait, was this for a street team? This is for street team. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. And Biff and Armin, Oof. and Armin was on the trip to go eat shrimp burritos. So I already got to bond with him. Yeah. Biff was like more like a, he was like a dick. Yeah. Mm. I love Biff now. Like we, he, we, he was like super cool. And I remember like whatever, got a call back. And then when I was in the building for the interview, like, like I said, I went to go say hi to Chalk. I'm like, yeah. I know these guys. We're all good. Yeah. <laughs> in the interview, I just told him, yeah, uh, you hear that song, uh, Chalk's playing. That's like I I produced that and it was Buko Breaks. Literally, yeah, uh, was playing, bro. Yeah, yeah. Could, and he, I was like, yeah, he, I was like, he was like, you made that record, yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking I'm in. Yeah, don't get a call. Oof. Don't get a call. And then I I have so many friends there already. Where like I hear Ron T actually uh, called me and he was like, yo, like I don't think they're gonna call you. Like they don't like that. You know, like Biff, like uh. Biff treated his like squad like yo. You're here to do a job. You don't bother anyone. Don't bother mm, the right, talent, right, right, right? So he didn't like people, yeah. like, knowing people. And he was like, yeah. He goes, he doesn't like that, like, you know people here. And, like, wow. and, and thinks, like, you're not going to be, like, focused on the job. Right. And you're, like, too, you just want to be, like, part of them type shit, yeah, now, yeah. which is true. Um, And I think, like, maybe... Bro, I'm talking weeks went by and like I was like full on depressed and shit. 
full on depression that I couldn't get this minimum wage job. <laughs> <laughs> but it was real. It was a yeah. dream, bro. It was like literally like at that time. A lot of DJs. Power One Six was LA, like right? even a street team was like yeah, the yeah. shit. Yep. Like mm -hmm. we like I said before, Vice started on started the radio the and team. went back to the streets. He, he oh, no, I didn't know that. Not even went back. He joined the street team after he's on air because wow. he because they were big and he was like, "Yo, I want to get my name out there." Wow. They're they're hitting every school, every this. So he went backwards. He said, "Oh, wow. this is a way for me to promote myself." Mm -hmm. You know. Smart. So he yeah. he joined the street team after. So yeah, it was a big deal. So I was. Mm. Literally fucking depressed and shit. And then, yeah, I get a call and then I join. And then, and then like, a Biff, Biff's uh, fear, like, didn't last long and I got on the air. <laughs> he, probably, <laughs> he was probably what he was afraid of. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was a fucking big deal at the time, the, uh -huh. the Flavor Unit. I remember. How was it in 07? Because I feel like in 07, was radio still like, as big as it is or was there or when did like streaming shit start yeah I'm not like sure. spotify and all shit. that shit i don't even remember I mean, it, it was still big i, I think take that back when you kind of left already it was still big but it was kind of going down but it was still there it was right and it's yeah. still there yeah today but correct but you know what i meant uh-huh um okay so 07 <clears throat> and then 2010 how did you get on the radio um you know that so e-man usually asked um, flavor unit DJs and he handpicks them and he usually asks them around Christmas time because that's when the the ratings don't count mm -hmm. towards the fourth quarter mm -hmm. and he he put me on I think it was a day after Christmas like 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Oh you're you're you, don't take this the wrong way <laughs> <laughs> don't take this the wrong way I remember you were one of the first ones to like Get on from the flavor unit, if I'm not mistaken. From my generation, I would yes. say. Yes, from your yeah, like I after me so. and Sife type shit. As far as the mixer goes, no, because remember you had um, <laughs> you do you remember the pitch slappers, Express and Classic One? You they were about to hop on, and they did like a jump off mix. Okay, and they jump were, like, off the mix next, is one thing. Yeah, but they were they were next to go on air, after you guys. And what happened? I don't know. What happened with them? Okay, but but as far as them, uh, the next generation, I, I think so. I think it was you. Anyway, <laughs> no, I'm gonna it, say it's me. <laughs> it was you, and, and I'm not. I, I don't. <clears throat> this isn't a bad thing, but but I would use you as a. I, I, all right, so when Saif and I got on in mm -hmm. 04, we had to try try out. So it was two of us. So. One one would have to try out after Friday Night Flavors yeah. at three in the morning, wow. three to five on <laughs> Friday night, wow. and then That's and then wild. the other one we rotate. So yeah. the next one would try out on Saturday after Power Tools, mm -hmm. which was twelve to two, four to six. Oh damn! Because they Shit. ended at four, <laughs> and that was live, 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 live for months, bro, <laughs> fucking months, and trying out. And I'd have to go on after J Rock, and he fucking want to slap the shit out of us because he hate he didn't like us you know like yeah. he was you know j-rock was different back then and, uh -huh. and people know like he he was like a little mean <laughs> <laughs> he's cool now but but yeah he he didn't like us he never said a word to us and chalk would luckily chalk was there and chalk yeah. was the nicest human ever so he'd always like have yeah. our back but but i remember how hard it was to dj on power to, it was to get past that level just to, to just to even get that yeah. slot like we had to even submit insane amount of demos to even try out at four in the morning Shit. think about wow. that that's wild think about that and ever bro i still have ever mixed demos ever ever would have to do demo after demo after demo and e-man yeah. would not let him get on the air yeah. that's how hard oh, it was fuck. you guys know how many people were listening like <clears throat> around that time like four to six. Nah, we I had no idea, but um, or people were calling chances, in. Yeah, okay, dog, so like you'd were, be surprised because yeah. especially back Powell then too. Huge, yeah, yeah. yeah, so it, it had listeners. So like streaming didn't start to like, and we're on vinyl. Yeah. The, yeah. Anyway, my point is, I remember the next people to get on the air yeah. 
were trying out at 7 p.m. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, fuck this, this is bullshit. Fuck PJ. <laughs> no, I wasn't fuck PJ. I no, was like, I fuck E Man. <laughs> that was like way later, though. Bro, yeah. four years later, oh, yeah, or three years, wait, no. Six years later, two thousand ten. Yeah, okay, six saying. six years later. Yeah, but yeah, fuck that. Make PJ go on at three in <laughs> no, the morning. I was gonna say because streaming, <laughs> we looked it up. Two thousands. Yeah. Uh, so two thousand early two thousand. Yeah, because oh, with uh, uh, Napster, LimeWire, and then after all the lawsuits came Spotify and all that okay, stuff. Okay, like but 05, that yeah, so it, that like, didn't man. matter. Yeah, like it, it did, but. Anyway, so yeah, I was mad that you didn't try out at 3 a.m., bro, if, I, if we're going to be honest. Yeah, and I would be mad at myself, too, because I'm like, bro, come on, man. Like, I went through it, too. You should go through it as well. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> but thank God, I mean, I even went to and, church. And before I was on my, vinyl, my, and you oh, were on Serato. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. I love you. But yeah, I, I just even, wanted to share that because I've told people the story and I would say your name too. <laughs> and then PJ would get on at 7 p.m. for the first time. Wow. <laughs> <Fuck that. laughs> Damn. But yeah, my, my first time even on air, I, I went to church at St. Finbar like at 5 30 and just to like, you know, like God give me some some blessings. And yeah. How guess, nervous were you? God oh, keep me on beat. Yeah. yeah, keep me on beat. I hope I don't fuck up a mix. That's first time on air. First ever? time on oh, air. Shit. And Jeff G like usually was like recorded at the time on Sunday evenings, but he came in live and like <gasps> just ruin your whole <laughs> yeah, bum you out. Ner- but like there was a nervous. lot of people calling. He's like, there's a lot of Filipinos calling, you know. Wow. <laughs> and there was a lot of friends and family were supporting me, so that's it was a cool feeling. Yeah, that's tight. Do you remember the first record he played? Uh, it might have been Moment for Life. Ooh, Drake wow. and Nicki Minaj, yeah. which is big right now. Big again. Yeah. But yeah, at that time it was an A. Really? Either oh. that or Bottoms Up, Trey Songs. Okay. Big again too. Yeah. Yeah. That's big. A, yeah? yeah. Crazy. Moment man. for Life is big. Moment, yeah, yeah. Moment for Life is huge. huge. Any huge. Nikki, like old Nikki, it's yeah. like very Starships, like, yeah. Moment for Life. Starships is huge. Yeah. Uh, damn. I got to revisit. Yeah. I got to listen to earbuds. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow. Okay. I take notes you, on earbuds too. Don't, don't, don't give me yeah. wrong, you know? We got to get up. I'm screenshotting. Tomorrow. Not airing tomorrow, but whatever. Wait, you're recording tomorrow? We're recording tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll tune in. <laughs> <laughs> um, damn, bro. And, and, um, so what happens after that? You get on Power 2010, and are you actively in clubs? So you don't have a job at this point. I don't have a. Um, I was working at at Islands. I don't know if you guys know. Oh wow! Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Shout Burbank out Nick Island. Island. No way! Oh, yeah. That's Nick's spot. That was Nick's spot till Damn. till now. Till no, till close, someone right? got food poisoning. Oh yeah. Oh, oh no no. What happened still was they tried it. So we Nick they tried got to go us there. all on yeah, it. Yeah. So we all went. And then to the he Burbank tried location? to, yeah. Okay. And then he tried to go, and it was closed for like uh, something. Yeah, like it, like it was like yeah. I don't want to say rats, but yeah, rats. Yeah, yeah. It was, <laughs> damn the cheddar fries. Cheddar Ooh, fries bro. and the oh, and you don't beer. Twenty five hundred calories for those cheddar fries with the ranch. Oh, yeah. there's a lot of calories on that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I eat know. the whole thing. Oh, yeah. No. oh yeah. yeah. I was I very aware. I was counting. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, but at that time before, remember they wouldn't have the calories on the menu. Yeah, you just have to like okay, they would just tell you like careful on that not only that i would dip it in ranch too yeah <laughs> oh my god no of course that was the thing so it was like five thousand calories it has to be ranch yo fries uh, and ranch is the best oh i had man. the best fries at uh uh bells no in in Solbang? Solbang. no uh, hitching, Yulton, post? hitching post yeah. two. Oh, wow. incredible so when i went the week before i went to the hitching post one on the on the little uh, outside patio, how is it? And had a wine tasting. Oh, it was, nice! It was fun. And yeah. we all looked at the ostriches across the way. Yeah, <laughs> that's all in the movie, I think, too. Oh man, because <laughs> Gene was in the chat. I was like, "You see ostriches?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, they're right across." <laughs> wow. So all right, so there you go. Oh yeah, there you go. So Islands still on a street team too. So I was at Islands 03 to 08. You're waiting. I was host. Then I made myself. To I think it was host slash busser, and then expo. So expo is like basically you're in the back getting putting the forks and the knives oh, yeah, and the yeah. burger, mm, getting okay. the putting the ranch the hula yeah, burger, yeah, yeah, the yeah. hula burger mushroom, <laughs> yeah, putting like the ranch on the cheddar cheddar fries. Yeah, yeah. Hey, ha- what's some crazy shit that goes on behind there, bro? <laughs> oh, bro, in the kitchen, dog. Don't in the be kitchen, lying, bro. Me, there was this one time when. Me and my, do we don't want to know, do we? No, <laughs> it's not that bad. Me and me and my homie one time were really hungry and we saw like tiki tenders, you know, the oh yeah, the of chicken course. tenders. Like we were busting a table and we're like, yo, Frank, like 
that looks not eaten. <gasps> <laughs> oh, it was at a table. It was at a table. The, oh, you guys were busting it. Well, we're busting it, yeah. and we're hungry, and like there was like usually five, but then two of them were like they looked untouched. <laughs> That's we not like, bad, bro. You want to go down on it? <laughs> yeah. So we both oh, ate it. Oh, whoa. A pause. Yeah, but we, but well, we both so ate you, it. Though. You took it to the back, and then we took ate it to it? the back, and we're like, "Yo, hurry up, eat it." That's not that, that bad. Yeah, no, That's not bad. bad, and actually, that's good. You yeah, guys aren't nah. wasting food. I, True, would, but I would hope all the food we don't finish gets eaten by someone. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, you know, or like, what sure. about like spitting on food with people? That's what I'm saying. No, bro. Yeah, were the sh- like the people cooking big spitting boy, on the food? Big or boy no? in the mornings uh-huh. years ago had like a segment where he had people that work at uh, fast food yeah. spots call up and say like the craziest shit they've ever done. Whoa, it was like anonymous. Fuck. They didn't say the restaurant, but it was all fast food chains that yeah. we know. Oh, like yeah. McDonald's, mm-hmm. Carl's, Jack in the Box. Bro, I Bad. was disgusted. And could you can imagine, like these, bro. And That's it's what, funny how like some people get frustrated with like the people at the drive through, and they're like mean to them. I'm like, huh? I wouldn't do that if I were. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want to piss them off. No, you never want to piss For them sure, off. For sure, man. Mm-hmm. I'm always nice to the waiter or waitress. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so you never seen anything like that? I've done it once. I'll be oh honest. shit! Okay. Talk yeah, to there us. was this guy that was like a dickhead to me when I was when I moved up to waiter, and I was like waiter for a couple of years and he was like <laughs> so mean and i was like bro like why do you have to be so mean so no. like when he was asking for like a coke got him the coke pressed it <laughs> <laughs> oh shit Talked a little noogie oh <gasps> my god and i was like all right cool here's your coke man wow i feel like yo <laughs> did you did you watch him drink it I did. Oh my oh, god! No, remember we're in. Uh, You're a bad man, PJ. <laughs> we went to uh, Waterburger that day. <laughs> that one, uh, last. Oh, we Austin. definitely got our shit. Oh, down. dude. Oh, what? Our, what? our boy uh, CRG, <laughs> bro, uh, was yelling at the kid. I'm like, and the dude was like, you. He had a fucking uh, Edgar. No, the guy he did not uh, want to be there. No, no, the guy was like tatted face. His entire oh, face god. was tatted. There's and I, some and they were going at it, like talking shit to each other. And really? I was like, oh, this isn't good, bro. Oh, yeah. shit. And we ate it. Yeah. <laughs> With a happy face. It's probably still trash anyway. <laughs> it was trash. Yeah, yeah, all, yeah. We ate all of them pubes and whatever the fuck was in there. <laughs> <laughs> we ate everything. Oh, man. <laughs> Dog, oh, I don't want to think about it. So you've never seen nothing crazy? Nothing crazy like that. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen a couple rats at that island's location. Oh, great. Oh, they're right still the there. They're probably, yeah, they're probably yeah, still there. They but nothing, well, that's why they close. Right? Yeah. 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 I'll still go there. Well, now they're fixed. There's no more rats. <laughs> Ratatouille. Hey, man. There's rats everywhere, you know? Yeah. Can't control it. You eat in New York? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any fine dining, dude. They're yeah, there. For yeah. sure. Uh, <laughs> Damn, PJ. So you're balancing islands, power, DJ And I was gigs. still going to school at that time. I went to... And school. Yeah, wow. I went to Where'd Cal Poly Pomona. Oh, shit. What did you go to school for? Uh, at first... M- well, rewind back then, like, you know, me being Filipino, my dad was like, a knock. So a knock means like Nursing. son. Yeah, or yeah. <laughs> He's like, you have three options on what you want your career to be. Like, you're on, you're playing basketball in high school and you've been on varsity for four years, which is kind of hard to accomplish. So you can be a basketball player or you can be a nurse <laughs> or you can be a DJ. Oh, wow. Whoa. He gave you that option. Because I was already like doing all three at the same time. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know what to do. So... Obviously, I didn't, I'm not in the NBA or PBA, you know? <laughs> and at that time, I was going to PCC, then I transferred to Cal Poly. But at PCC, I was taking all, like, nursing prerequisites, like anatomy, chem, physio, bio. Mm-hmm. And I was getting Ds, Fs, withdrawals. Oh, shit. Wow. Yeah, it was bad. Damn. Like, you weren't into it. I wasn't into it. And, yeah. like, I was, like, it was hard, man. Like, if you go to anatomy class, like, anatomy test is a practical. And, like, you're just like, okay, what's this little thing yeah and you have to fucking like jot it down like one through 50 i'm like this is fucking hard man. yeah fuck yeah. that so i was like fuck that and like i just stuck with djing you know but like yeah. shout out to all like the nurses in the healthcare industry because i have a lot of like family and friends that are like nurses and like mm-hmm. yeah. like my brother's an rt my my other brother's a pharmacist so like oh wow yeah like it's hard work man no, yeah. yeah, that shit it is, is hard really work. hard work, dude. Job yeah. security, though. <laughs> very, yeah, <laughs> very right. secured. Very, sec- very. Yeah, cause people are all secure because well, they're yeah because people are eating island fries. <laughs> yeah, and getting spit on, getting <laughs> fucking yeah, <laughs> eating all yeah. your germs, getting sick, ending up at the <laughs> hospital. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, so I was juggling like Cal Poly Pomona Islands 
And once I got the job at Move-In, I quit <laughs> Islands. Mm. Okay, so that's when you quit uh, Islands. Yeah. Okay. And then just did Move-In and Cal Poly. So every time I was like, when I hopped over the power, I wouldn't even buy books at co- in college because I was just like fucking studying the, the, the list. I was putting it on my playlist. Yeah, buy records instead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, then I finished college, graduated a business management and human resources, which is MHR. Oh, yeah. oh wow. I didn't wow. really use it because I'm still a DJ, right? Yeah. And yeah, I was still on power. I just kind of kept going and going. Yeah. And then how after being on the air, did you write, quit street team right away too? Yeah, instantly. Instantly, even from the one tryout? You're like, Fuck uh, it this. was one or two tryouts. I'm out. And, yeah, it was one or two tryouts. And I, the, you kind of have to figure out a way to get in with E Man and Felly. So I felt like, well, I felt like my way to get in was like playing basketball with them oh, during yeah. the basketball mm. games. So I would go, I don't know if he's listening right now, but yeah, that, I would go with them to the games. Yeah. And I would just not talk about being on air and just play basketball. And I was just pretty talk, good at have a basketball bond. Yeah. Nice. You know, and it just, worked out. It Bro, worked those, out. Ga- yeah. those games were fun. I used to play at a couple. Yeah, I remember really? yeah. we were there. Yeah. I used to play. Oh. So it was like a Power 106 league? Or? It was, yeah, it was, a power, it was Power 106, and they would play against schools. So oh. like, and it, it would be the school staff or, or alumni stuff, or alumni current, like players yeah. versus the Power 106 staff, anyone that plays. So it's Power 106 staff mixed with like celebrities. Yeah. Oh, wow. So like, People from like TV shows or movies mm-hmm. or Coach Carter the movie yeah, yeah like Kidding cool. I think like, yeah Chris Brown or artists artist, yeah. yeah artists yeah, would been come scratchy too yeah, yeah artists would come actually. play and 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 perform halftime yeah. it was like oh, a whole dope. thing it was, it, those shows were like super <clears> fun back <throat> then yeah and I felt like that was my way in with like E Man and Felly because sometimes I would ride with E Man but I wouldn't talk about like being on air but the next day I would give him oh here's my demo and then it was around the same time like like November, December, and he's like, would you want to try out? And I was like, cool. Oh, okay, so this is before oh. you did the tryout. Yeah. Oh, so, so that's was, how you got the tryout. I was out. doing basketball, <laughs> and then I was like, I think this is my formula of getting ah, in. Ah, okay. And then I he love asked that. me. Just show up. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. show yeah. up. Yeah. Right I, I, place at the right time. Correct, correct. correct. Yeah. That's awesome. And before you would, you would never ask directly, right? I wouldn't ask him in the car. You would just like build a uh, just a relationship with him. Yeah, like oh, that's who's also, your that's the best angle, bro. Yeah, yeah and it's like sure. when he didn't feel like you were annoying the shit out of him. Correct. Like who's your favorite basketball player at the time? And like blah blah blah. Jordan Clarkson. Yeah, <laughs> but I, we wouldn't talk about like being on air. But I, we would like listen, and he would ask like, how did what did you think of that mix? But it wasn't my mix. It was like probably someone else's, you know. Yeah. So I was kind of like being like, I don't know, like. I mean, mix. if you guys were going to basketball games at that time, you're probably listening to us. Probably, yeah, probably yeah. Be ever because it was around like five thirty. We would leave and then come mm. back around eleven. So it took a to- like a long. Yeah. Night. Why is he yeah. playing? I'm in Miami, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I would cover for some some of you guys. Like, let's say if if it's a wrong record, I'm like, yo, Eman, lower the lower, lower it real quick. I'm gonna ask you a question, bro, <laughs> <laughs> to cover you guys. <laughs> what do you I mean know. wrong record? Oh, like something on the list or something? Not on the list or like, oh, he shouldn't be playing that. I'm like, oh wait, E man, like you gotta turn, you gotta turn. <laughs> oh, trust wow. me, I was, he was that strict on that. Yeah, Bro. I was very aware of base. Uh, sorry, of game days. So yeah. like, I knew he's in the car li- uh, on his way to to, uh, to the game right now, listening. And it's oh, really shit. low too, but he's listening, bro. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he's Damn. listening. Yeah. Would uh, power win against these schools? <laughs> yeah, not all the time though. But not all the time. But yeah, they would win. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I like. I would see these schools bring like ringers from like, yeah. <laughs> you and know? they're like dunking. But even Power started bringing ringers yeah, for too, sure, right? Too. Yeah. I think a professor probably played too, right? Professor used to play. A couple yeah. of, dog, couple yeah. and, and uh, one yeah. guys used to play. Shit. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Do they still do that? I think Iman does still do that every yeah, Tuesday, Thursdays. Yeah. Where are yeah. the prizes? Oh, that's cool. Prizes? Nothing. Just from the tote bag? Oh, <laughs> oh you crate? mean like, like for Bragging the crowd? Rights? Yeah. Oh, Whoever wins, yeah, yeah bragging yeah, rights. Right. I mean, it's probably a fun event. Yeah, it's fun yeah. for the high school. Yeah, dope. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, it was just like a fun for the kids. And yeah, sometimes like some pretty big fucking artists would come out and play. Oh, yeah. yeah. And perform. Yeah, like, they're like promoting like an album right, or like a record. He, said, he mentioned yeah, like Chris, like Chris Brown. Brown, Brown. Yeah. Pull it. And Chris Brown's a really good basketball player. Yeah, yeah he, he loves ball. basketball. Yeah. I think yeah. Bieber came to a game one time. Cole. I've seen Jake Cole there. Cole, Flocka. I think, yeah, Bieber, who else is there? Like, big ones. Like, yeah, Kid Inc., Chris Brown. There's a lot. There was yeah. a lot. That's dope. Yeah, those things used to be huge. So then, all right, no more islands. We're just on power. Mm-hmm. And you're doing clubs? 
Doing clubs. And that's just kind of how your income's coming. Correct. Yeah. And just relying on clubs. No no scam. This was before yeah. scam. Oh. And at this time, what what was the mindset? Like, did you feel like, oh, I made it. Like, this is where I want to be. Or did you feel that that was a stepping stone to Vegas? Vegas. Yeah. Because I, I think that's... But I'm saying, like, some people aren't aware of that. Like, uh -huh. we kind of... We kind of went through it in real time. Yeah. Like, we're on the air, and the next thing you know, it's like, oh, shit, Vice is DJ in Vegas. Like, what does that even mean? Yeah. And yeah. It, like, yeah. we just, we kind of saw it happen in real life. Mm -hmm. So we didn't have, like, the goal of, oh, that's the end goal. Yeah. That's what, what we want to do. We just kind of figured it just out happened. as it happened. Yeah. But, like, someone around 2010, especially 2010, that was the fucking... The formula. That was the EDM yeah. boom. That was... Marquee's open now. That's, you know, or, yeah. Get, uh, I think when Tal first opened was when really like the open format guys were like really <laughs> starting to notice like, oh, it's time to DJ in Vegas. Like right I want to DJ in Vegas. Which yeah. is around. Actually, 2000. I think that's what around the time you were asking me when. Yeah. So like, I would come and see Vegas, him a lot yeah. at Tal, mm -hmm. when, especially when you guys would do Opium Room. Yeah. And it's funny, I, I even thought about Five too, because I, I think I stumbled upon a picture of him DJing <laughs> at V Lounge. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, that's yeah. where I first met Scratch. That's where I first yeah. met Five. Yeah. So what was head, V Lounge? That's it, it was in in Venetian. Venetian. Uh, V Bar or V Bar? Or yeah, yeah, V Bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. V -bar. Yeah. Now it's like a uh, sugar cane or something now, but yeah, it's right there. Um, we're all like before like, you right go by casino, yeah, small yeah. lounge, yeah. small like lounge in Venetia. It's huh. like the we're all yeah. like the restaurant. It's called Restaurant Row now, but like we're all like Demonicos and like all these restaurants are at. Okay, yeah, yeah. in the Venetian. Damn. Yeah. So when I stumbled upon that picture, I was like, damn, like you really got to pay your dues. But I feel like. You know, at the time, like he, he was getting bigger gigs. You guys were all like growing. So yeah. I was like, damn, like that's kind of the formula. And at that time, I was at Stone Power. Yeah. So I was watching everything, you know, like mm -hmm. I was like, damn, this is cool. And that's like my, my goal mm -hmm. in Vegas after Power. And yeah, I'm. And it happened. And it happened. So yeah. mistake or correct me if I'm wrong, but your first Vegas gig was Chateau? Correct. Okay. But, How did well, that happen? Actually, a okay, residency gig or just like physical? Yeah, like, first, oh, well, well, let's go first gig. First gig. First gig, gig yeah. uh, I used to do video mixing at Eye Candy Lounge in Manly oh, Bay. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Eye Candy. Oh, okay. yeah. Eye Candy. It's right yeah. in. It's still there. It's still there. It's in yeah. the middle of the casino. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mandalay Bay. Video mixing. Video mixing. And okay. You got in there without management or anything? I just got in there through a friend that I would say managed all the DJs and just nice. what year was put this? him on the books. Uh, this was probably same time as Power. So maybe 2011, 12 ish. Okay. Ah, nice. 13 ish, maybe around that okay. year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I was just doing it like every weekend? Not every weekend. They would only book me like once or twice a month. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And that was video mixing. So imagine like how much work you have to do. Yeah. You have mm -hmm. to bring an extra terabyte or two. Damn. And it's all videos. Plus, you're downloading MP3s for Power 106. Super clean, clean. super clean. <laughs> and then if you're, if you're doing like other clubs, you're doing dirty MP3s. Yeah. So oh. it's one, two, and then the major one. Oh, shit. Yeah. It was a hustle. And then I would, would say you, I was doing that for a couple couple months to a year. And then I first got my chance or like my tryout at Chateau. And how'd that happen? I had a contact who, who worked there. And what's funny was that I was with you too. So we were at Excess. I don't think you remember. Metal, <laughs> you were there so many times. Obviously. Seems like he doesn't remember any of these. So, I was so DJing or <laughs> you were DJing. It was Nick, Mello. Oh, I remember this day. Me and you, because Mello only came to one. Okay. We have a photo. Uh, I think. Yeah, we have a yeah, photo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember this. Where was and I at? Excess. <laughs> oh, the photo. Uh, was I think I, I have it on. No, 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 it was just me. Was, uh, uh, no, no, I was just saying. I remember out in general. Yeah. No, I don't think you. Oh, that's when Nick was still traveling with you. This is okay. when Nick was yeah. with me, okay. and then yep, P, PJ and uh, Mello D yeah. were there. I remember that. Damn. Yeah. Oh, so you met the guy there? Oh, I met a contact there, okay. and like, she she was like, well, actually, I first walked in with Eric. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And I feel bad because I'm like, I don't want to disrespect him. Like, I want to. I'm here for Eric, and I don't want to like, I can go off and do something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So next, you know, I, I get a, a text, and like the contacts, like, yo, are you in Vegas? I'm like, cool. So I met up with. Her, and she was at the club that you were spinning at Excess. Wow. And she was like, I didn't know you still wanted to How DJ. did you meet her in the first place, though? She's my ex-girlfriend. 
Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, All right. Oh. Okay. Oh, perfect. It's getting a little. It's getting better. <laughs> good times. Yeah, very good times. We're How many shots before hoism. you contacted the ex girlfriend? <laughs> 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 Yeah, so she was like, I didn't know you still wanted to DJ in Vegas. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, why am I here? You know? And she's like, okay, cool. Let me like try to like, because at the time she was working at Chateau as a cocktail waitress. Oh, and okay. Let me try to get you in there. And then slowly but surely she introduced me to the talent buyer. His name is Joey. Okay. And gave me a shot. Wow. Yeah. Nice. That's you're still there now. And I'm still yeah, there now. You like, still play there now. So yeah. Chateau, it, it was renovated. And it's now called, I think it's Sherry or Sherry. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, it's, it's called something else now? Yeah, it's called huh? New Name. Uh. Renovated the whole thing. Uh, no hip hop. Yeah. Oh. All house, EDM, yeah. light EDM, dance, yeah. more chill, loungy very, vibe. Yeah, very Paris. I went there like very Paris, yeah. three times. Went grand opening. That's when like Chateau. Uh, Chateau. Uh -huh. When like Randy Davila. Uh, Alex Cordova and th those guys had a little uh, company, and that was their first club that they op like that they ran. The Chateau. Yeah. Oh, sure. I've, I've only been there once, yeah. and I think you were DJing the time I went. Did, did, I, I don't think no? so. Okay. No. Yeah. The kidding. second time <laughs> was uh, with AM. Mm. Oh. He was still big AM. We went to go. Yeah, did an event at the, Chateau. Yeah. He played Chateau's or just been went. open that long? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. They've had like Drake, then, Nicki Minaj, Funk Flex. Yeah. There. Oh shit. What? Third yeah. time I went with uh, Laura Sear. And we're going to go see Stone Rock because wow. he was doing that. Mike B was doing an event there. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Yeah. It's been around since like the early, uh, yeah. the mid, mid 2000s. Oh, wow. Yeah. Damn. So right around when Tao opened? Yeah. Oh, early 2000s. I mean. Oh, so yeah, before yeah. Tao. Around that time. Uh, like Risqué? Remember Risqué? Oh, I remember yeah, Risqué. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Where, it where was, was, sorry. It was Risqué. I think you're, you're right. talking about Risqué. I'm talking about Risqué. <laughs> No, no, but it's, no, that's the same thing though. It's, it's Chateau is inside the same, is the, inside the Paris. Yeah, okay. And uh, Chateau is outside uh, where the tower is. Uh, the, Correct. Yeah. No, Michael same tower. club though. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's the same club, right? <laughs> Maybe I'm off. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. You're right. I'm talking about I might Risqué. be off because right. I think yeah. Risqué was like inside, and it was like steps. Five. Opposite. Okay. Yeah. Too many Pepsids. <laughs> you know I mean. still, no, he's right though. Still in Paris though. Still in Paris. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm tripping. Yeah. I was gonna say, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Holy okay. Shit. So get you get your shot. You get your shot at the at the chateau. Ex girlfriend came through. Was she an ex girlfriend at the time? Yeah. Okay. And they. Wow. What a nice ex. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. Very Holy nice shit. of her. And then they even put me on the, an electronic billboard there, too. Damn. And I was like, oh, damn, this is how it feels. Name That's up bro. Yeah, actually, feeling. we were talking about that, I think, two pods ago, right? It's that feeling of... Yeah. 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 Well, we I don't think we talked about, like, first time playing somewhere. Oh, okay. Like a different state or country. But, yeah, first billboard yeah. was also... Yeah. A, I think Vanity was mine. Or, yeah. yep, I think so. I think we didn't get on billboards to, like... I was on Tao. No mm -hmm. picture, though. Just my logo. <laughs> <laughs> I was too fat. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Well, Tao, Tao billboards were always like just like this chick with a back tattoo. Yeah. They never, oh, yeah, for, yeah. for the Thursday, <laughs> for the longest time, they didn't, you know, they just had the, the girl uh -huh. on it. And then um, later on, like, you know, they changed the way they did the ads and stuff, but yeah. they started yeah. adding pictures. So first time you saw that, you're like, holy shit, this yeah, is crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. I was like, yeah. damn, like. I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but I was like, damn, this is a pretty good fucking feeling. No, it's oh, a great no. feeling. Like, yeah. All my friends came sure. out, my family. That's not cocky, that's humble, bro. Yeah. Like, my, my family came out, and I'm like, dude, like, well, you got to wait. It only appears for like three seconds, yeah. and it switches. <laughs> yeah. So like, we have to have, stay here for at least like 30 minutes to get it like a good picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it was like, just me, just like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> it said Chateau, the date, and whatnot, and I was like, yeah. damn, this is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Can't, can't get a billboard as a nurse now, can you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe an NBA player, yeah, but not, not as a nurse. <laughs> that's tight, bro. Yeah. So then, damn, you're still doing it. Still doing it. Um, wow, that's dope. Yeah, and I've had the chance to like play at Zook a couple of times, which yeah. is a oh, yeah. great feeling, too. And Zook's one of the biggest clubs yeah. Yeah. out now, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That's dope. One of the newer clubs in Vegas. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So what's... What's the current goals? I know uh, we're fresh into 2024, you know, big on goals here. Yeah, well, how do you sure. feel today? What's what's next? What do you want to do? Where do you want to be? It, or is it strictly like focus on the family right now? Um, I would say family is first, obviously. 
but I think I can like start focusing on myself now because he's kind of like getting a little bit older. But I really want to rebrand myself. Yeah, he's almost six mm. months. He's getting older. <laughs> he's getting older. <laughs> he's getting older. <laughs> um, yeah, like I know you guys always talk no, about he's, like- uh, how, uh, You guys go by weeks, huh? Weeks? Yeah, uh, how many yeah. weeks is he? Ah, uh, man, maybe like 20, 20, 21. This, I'm like, I'm weeks. like, I think I did the math or like I Google searched it how many weeks I was. Cause you know how people say how- Yeah, for sure. And I think I wanted to do that as a joke if someone asked me how old I was. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm like 400 weeks. <laughs> I don't but know. But see, the thing is I had this talk with my wife too. I was like, do you count it by weeks or do you count it by the 25th? Because if you count it mm. by weeks, it's, it's longer than 16. Mm. If you count four months, you get what I'm saying? Yes, no. <laughs> what? Like, so like, let's say right so basically now, Monday to Monday to Monday to Monday is like multiple weeks rather, rather than the 25th, like the month, the 25th, the next uh, 25th. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So once this 25th hits, which is in like in nine days, he's going to be five months. But if you count the weeks, five months times four is 20. It's going to be more than 20. Yeah. Yeah. So do you get what I'm saying? But okay. at the end of the day, we're yeah, counting so by round the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> we're counting by yeah, the, yeah. the 25th. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 Damn. I appreciate you saying four months. That's just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <You're> welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I feel like the goal um, coming 2024 is obviously family first, but I know you guys talk a lot about like rebranding, mm -hmm. but I want to rebrand myself because like being on Power 106, it, it kind of like put me in a little like pocket of like, yeah. oh, PJ can only play hip hop. That's yeah. all mm -hmm. he knows. Do you really feel that? I feel that. I feel like I've heard people say it, and I'm like, I think Felly said it. Yeah, Felly. Felly and, was different. Yeah. Felly had a strong hip hop presence. I mean, mm -hmm. he had cornrows. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. he released hip hop records. Yeah. Correct. But yeah. I, but I never felt that. To be honest, really? I never felt that. Look at Justin. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I don't. And it's crazy because I feel like Justin rides or pushes a hip hop. Like uh -huh. he wants to like yeah. break hip hop and like does music with artists and like interviews all the hip hop. So like that that's a big part of his brand and I don't I still don't think it affects him. Yeah. And so I, I think that could be in your head. It could be in my head. Well, give too. me an example of, of, of when you felt like that affected you. Like when did someone say, you know what? I'd hire you, bro, but like you're from Power 106. Has that happened? No. Okay. But when I was in Vegas they don't really know what Power 106 is. That's yeah. my point. So I was like, then that's my point. They don't know and they don't care. They don't really care. Yeah. So I was like, what, what do I do? You know, like keep writing both. And I was still on the air at the time. And like, it was hard for me to just get out of that, that line. Well, and, I guess you still got the Chateau gig, which is only playing house. The, not, not at the time, that time it was hip hop. Though. Oh, open not format at the time. hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah at the time it was yeah. open format. But okay. now Cherie is like house, EDM, light, loungy stuff. Okay. And that's why I kind of want to rebrand myself. Like, do you want to? Um, because I remember when you left Power. If we want, we want to talk about that. Yeah, yeah. So basically, I left Power, um, St. Patty's Day of 2023. So March 17. So about 10 months ago. Mm. Or and how many weeks ago? <laughs> <laughs> 40 weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like I, I mean, I left on a good note. You know, obviously I didn't get fired and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And, you know, shout out to all the guys there, like Justin Milk, Burger, E-Man, Felly, Brianna. I was on I was on air every day for the Power Workout Mix at Noon, 12, yeah. 12 p.m. Mm -hmm. with Brianna every day, Monday through Friday, 12 to 1, and then on, on Saturday and Sunday. And Live Saturday and Sunday too? Saturday and Sunday was recorded. Okay. And it was cool, man. Like... People would text me, shout. Yeah, so seven days a week? Seven days a week, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, seven days a week. Wow. And I, I was like, damn, am I the only one on seven days a week? I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I was. Like DJing, yeah. 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 And I did that for two years. And look, at the time, I was like, okay, I think it's time for me to exit. Mm. You know, it, it's time for me to grow. And do, do you feel, all right, what was your, your reasoning? Or do, do you feel being there every day? held you back from being somewhere else? Was that the mindset? It's like, oh, I can't be somewhere else if I'm here. Or is it more like I got to break away from this radio burnt brand? Out, or like you got burnt out? Or maybe? burnt out. Mm, possibly all three because mm. I felt like when people would listen, they would text me and I'm like, what's playing in the background is hip hop. 
and then they would only think I only play hip hop, but I would kind of get mad at myself. I'm like, damn, like, am I doing a bad job of like not letting this person know without letting this person know I can play I'm a piano. Yeah. I, mm. I can play by the funk. I can play dance. I can play EDM. Cause in, at Zook, I'm all, all I'm playing is EDM. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, at Cherie, now they're yeah. flipping formats. I'm like, cool. Like this is something I love and I like. <laughs> so I was like, I think it's time for me to, you know, change my logo, rebrand, like, um, keep the name, keep the name. Okay. Yeah. And I recently saw one of the homies. I know you guys know Jet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Jet made. Yeah. yeah. He was like, I told him this, yeah, 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 for yeah. Cascade, mm -hmm. but then now he's with, I believe, Insomniac. Oh, Is okay. he really? Yeah. We've known Jet forever. Yeah. yeah. So I saw him at, Yeah. I saw him at Hyde and he was like telling me, like, I was telling him my situation with power and he was telling me his situation. He's like, yo, you should do like a, like a Cascade redo. What, what Cascade does, like, you know, he plays a certain set for redo. What what's what's redo? I, I believe he plays like let's say he does Zook. Okay. Right? He'll play commercial Yeah, his yeah, yeah. Commercial like edits and songs, but for redo it's a different type of house. Yeah. Mm, and okay. His it's like his own knows. thing, right? Like to like, yeah. like his own event too. It's like Diplo and um uh, Major Major Laser? Brown. Or, yeah. Mm, right? Okay. That's like oh, that's yeah, like yeah, his yeah. other Correct. Gets to play like yeah. the uh, Bernie Man vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Deep, it's deep a label house. too, I think. Yeah, high yeah. ground label. It's yeah. like label par, event, like part, like that's just his. Nice. Yeah. That's his brand of like this is the house stuff I want to play mm -hmm. versus excess. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. like yeah. what we have to play for the crowd. Correct. So yeah. where does Cascade do this party? I don't know because I'm not really in line with Cascade, but I know all my friends are. But I really want. He was telling me like, yo, you should do something like redo. Like if you're doing a set like in Vegas, like put in the caption like house set or house edm set or yeah. blah 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 so people know and like you can start to follow build some yeah. like hype around it do mixes and then wait like on the flyer like on the flyer yeah oh um, kind of like how Lil john has to put dj set yeah correct yeah on his flyers yeah now, that's, to try like, to get people away like PJ, he's not gonna perform fucking uh, fucking throw your motherfucking hood up <laughs> <laughs> or like, to get you'll like, probably do anyway <laughs> but yeah yeah or to get like to let people know, like, oh, PJ is not gonna only play hip hop. He's, yeah, I'm like, damn, PJ can play like dance and loungy and EDM stuff. So, do you want to rebrand as a house DJ? Not as a house DJ, but like as more of an open format, but in that direction. Yeah, you know, got it. Because in for several years, I was falling into that hip hop, that scene, that stage. I'm like, fuck, it's kind of hard because yeah, I want to get out of it. No. Nah. I, I feel you. I, I, I've been having, I go, you know, I'm in my head a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I go through like, I think like two episodes ago, I was like, I'll never produce again. Well, started producing again. Wow. Nice. <laughs> I just get like, you know what it is? So, you just like, I'm like, You're just a creative. I'm a mess. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I hate, I hate, it's funny. I hate the term creative. It mm -hmm. sounds so fucking stupid, but, <laughs> but, I I was talking to like Izzo and his wife and I think they asked like why like I forgot what the conversation was but it pretty much was about like me and my girl and why we don't fight mm -hmm. and I was like well it's because I'm not thinking of stupid shit I'm always thinking of ideas and that's kind of like works to our relationship's benefit yeah. yeah like I don't know I don't know what I don't, I'm not fucking checking her phone, this, that. Like, I'm just always, my mind's always racing and it's not for the best sometimes, mm -hmm. but it's just like fucking going in like a thousand miles an hour. So yeah, I like <laughs> got inspired by like, I want to say like a song I heard and open Ableton and I was like, I want to make something like this. And I like already like got like two tracks that I started, but damn, that's what it is, man. Like I don't. I, I feel you though, but I'll tell you what, like I'm very moved by house music. You know what? If if we all play in Vegas, yeah. Nothing moves a room the way house music does. Oh yeah, for sure. Period. Yeah. Like it, the energy doesn't have to be a hit. It's just something about it that is so fun and, and fulfilling to play with versus hip hop like mm -hmm. hip hop man like there there's some of the biggest songs that have no energy yeah and 
the most you'll get as someone is like a head nod. Like, mm-hmm. oh shit. It depends. They're on still that. sitting yeah. there, but they're nodding their head. No, I'm, yeah, it depends yeah. on the crowd, the club. Yeah. I get that. But we're not playing for Travis Scott's arena. Yeah. That's yeah. different. Oh, they rage to yeah. hip hop. Yeah, of course. If you're Travis Scott performing yeah. your hits, yeah. that's the difference. Definitely. Like, if you play, like, you know, like last this Sunday, like, they wanted mainly hip hop majority. And I play a lot yeah, of hip hop. Yeah. Okay. But in between, I'm just, you know, edits, you know, EDM yeah. edits, trap edits, and it's just in between. And then I get on the mic a lot and hype up the crowd the best I could. But yeah. Open format's fun, right? Like yeah. being able to bounce around. I yeah. think yeah. all house, all hip hop, all anything is like, for us, we like to yeah. bounce around. So I think if you get a room where like they're open minded and you get to really yeah. bounce around, mm-hmm. that's the yeah. best, right? Yeah. Correct. But if I were to choose one, I definitely would rather play a house set. Yeah. yeah. Now, which genre of house? <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> um, which I, subgenre? I like. <laughs> I like tech house, tropical house, yeah. disco house. I, I, I feel like I never really loved the big room yeah. EDM. Like I did because we played it in Vegas, but like but man, for, for yeah. producing, no. Like yeah, I, I, I'm more, and dude, even, you know, I love jazz. Like I I was messing with like jazzy. Like I think it's like the shit yeah. I'm pr- want, I want to produce right yeah, now is like yeah. probably stuff I, I'll never play because mm. it's like oh the, my love for jazz yeah, yeah. up tempo and like it's stuff like that and some some of it could be a little more with more tempo on some like Kate Trinata Austin Mills yeah. type flips yeah. but I don't know like I just that's right now I'm not saying I'm going back to producing it's, it, it could be after these tracks are finished I'm Never gonna put them I'm going to buy a canvas again. I haven't <laughs> bought a oh, canvas. Yeah. I'll start painting. I don't know. But yeah, so. And I'll tell you a, a certain situation too where like I got declined because of just playing hip hop. So a couple of years before, I would say 2000, 2015-ish, I would say, uh, wifey and I and all our friends went to Bali for a couple of birthdays and our friend owns the W in Bali mm. and they introduced me to the talent buyer who can, who is I believe the music director or the talent buyer for the the lounge there, yeah. and they're all playing like tropical stuff, right? So I sent them my link to like my SoundCloud and MixCloud. Ooh, that was a bad bottoms move. up, bottoms up. Yep, <laughs> that was probably the first one. Mix he picked. It was like uh, it was all hip hop. Yeah. And then like I was like waiting well, that for was, like that was your fault. Yeah, yeah. I was. You waiting. should have been in control of what you send them. Correct. But then I didn't have anything else at the time mm-hmm. because I was just so engulfed in in hip hop and power. Yeah. So like th- that's why my time was just here when I could have like gone a yeah. right, you know? Yeah. That I mean, yeah, that sounds like you didn't know. Yeah, you didn't uh, know that you didn't know that was like <clears throat> house, right? Like yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. But you didn't do nothing wrong, you know. It's just like he probably wasn't open enough to listening to two mixes. He just went True. to the first and was like, I oh, fucked this. I heard dude. the first song, he's like, Oh nope. Yeah. <laughs> bottoms up, bottoms up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your car. Nah, but the W like lounges, I know about those. Like, <laughs> yeah. I had a buddy that did like programming, and it was like, yeah, it's all like tropical, yep. down tempo, um, house world genre, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I love too, because it's just like beats yeah. and no vocals. I'm like, yeah. damn, this is hell, hella yeah, dope, you know. Vibey, yeah. So, yeah. my advice is produce what you want to play, yeah. mm-hmm. because to me, like rebrand and just putting house music under your name on a flyer is not going to cut it. Well, I definitely like want to have do to, mixes too as well, but yeah, I think producing is mixes number one. is cool, but like not too many people are listening to mixes like that. Uh-huh. Like it's gonna take one song and literally one song to get some momentum and like your life can change. Yeah. Literally one song, bro. So I I know it's tough with your dad, you know, like because yeah. producing is tough. Like it's a really yeah, tough it's thing. Hard. You gotta spend a lot of time on it um but i would consider that bro like if you want to rebrand as a house like like he said what type of house figure out narrow Mm -hmm. it down and then try to get that sound out on a track because other than that like it's gonna be tough especially with the same name yeah you're not gonna a new logo and put is not gonna rebrand you i'm sorry bro yeah and i think if you produce no one no if no one no one is gonna if you say, hey, draw PJ's logo on this board, I, I wouldn't 
you know what I mean? Like, or in any of ours. Yeah. Like the logo is not a good enough rebrand. Oh, it's a great rebrand for you. A great one, right? Like I want to change my image. Yeah, just like a personal image, image thing. Yeah. Not sound. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, for sure. You can go by Peach. <laughs> yeah, go by Peach, bro. Yeah. Yo, I'm PJ, the open PJ. format. I'm going to kill it every genre. I'm also Peach, and <laughs> I, I think, play house. But I also think... I'm, I'm not mad at a name change, bro. But I also think as an open format DJ, it's hard to build a fan base because they're confused. They're it's like, very okay. hard. They're like, okay, well... Do you what play is he playing today? Do you play yeah. hip-hop or do you play house? Correct. So that's why I think if it's you're going to produce and worst. you stick to one genre... Yeah. You'll build a fan base because, and they know you for that. Because if you start playing hip hop, that same fan base will be like, "Wait, what the fuck?" You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And you and you got to stick to it a hundred percent. If you're gonna start producing, put out. If you want to go, I'm a piano or, or if you oh, want to go, I'm, I'm, I'm a piano now. You're I'm a piano <laughs> DJ. <laughs> so I love I'm a piano and Bile Funk, dude. Like, those yeah. are good. Those are Af- Afro Funk. house, Afro house. Yeah. So good. I'm working on something like that Uh-oh. too. Uh-oh. And, Uh-oh. and like, just like it's when I like produce stuff uh-huh. is literally just to get it out of my system i never like give it any legs like even the shit i did in 2020 like a couple remixes yeah. i pl- did and then it's just like all right I, I, like i really love them still like this but the that sense style of, is like really like really, central seduction and yeah. the, and the, yeah. and the um, all, donnell jones yeah. like i still love those all tracks right. yep. that i made from scratch but it's just like they i don't like they, that's I don't style, see also like sampling anywhere. like old classics like that. I mean, it's been like that, but like, dude, it's even like bigger now. Like, I'm hearing everything's a remix, and they're like getting played like on all these YouTube Crazy. like mixes and shit, right? Like, yeah. I'm like seeing they're like shazamming or like just trying to find a playlist. I'm like, dude, this is hype. Like, yeah, I call I like to call those cheat records. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's just like they're familiar. Uh-huh. It's a, it's just easy to put a your twist to it and like easy to go play so out you don't have to break it right what like austin mills does yeah very his similar is, yeah. his are dope edits though yeah yeah. yeah 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 um yes but no more like like the shook ones part mm-hmm. three yeah like no but austin stuff mills like that. austin mills would flip like familiar records already like no very yeah. popular records so i think that's yeah, what he's going for yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah that's what you're saying that's what you mean like yeah. flipping Correct. popular flipping records already popular records and then Oh, that's giving Austin Mills' own. sound. Yeah. yeah. I know that's Austin Mills. Yeah. Yeah. I, have, I was sending uh, ever videos of the stuff I was making last night. They're like the rough. I don't want to play them, but. Yeah. <laughs> we'll clip it. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, we'll I'll play it for you later. But just to give you an idea of yeah, for sure. what I was talking about. But yeah. Um, rebrand. That's it, bro. I, I, I think. Think bigger, bro. Yeah. <laughs> okay, for sure. Thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, and I'm glad that I'm here because imagine if I went like one year doing this and we <clears> didn't <throat> talk about it. You're like, Pige, you should have told me. I would, we would have talked about it so we could have saved you a year yeah. and you could have done it right versus going this direction, you know? But but well, let me but let me also say this. If you did the new, new logo and threw, like how Cascade does his own house party, if you threw a house party uh-huh. mo- once a month and it started getting traction then that's a great rebrand yeah, true so it's not, it, i'm not saying the only way is to produce music i i just feel that's probably the best way mm-hmm. but if it's possible but you got to put in the work yeah throw events let people know like oh shit this is this is the shit he's on okay and even bro even if it's like you recording doing a small ass little bar and then recording it on youtube for youtube and then you upload it and then it just lives there and here's this i'm um, a piano set that you did and like yeah. people are like yo like because i'll tell you what youtube does is they they do a pretty good job at like the algorithm like recommending I, stuff so yeah. people that listen to other mixes yep. in that in that lane they're gonna probably come across your video probably want to book you like there's there's a lot of ways mm-hmm. to do it you know, and that goes back to like doing Sherry or Chateau because record they, those sets. Yeah, they yeah. they flip the format and record now. Record them. I can play Alma Piano. I can play Bila Funk. Obviously, I can't play like big room EDM because that's like really not the room. Oh, they were is, like sexy, sexy. Yeah, sexy, wow. sexy. Paris, like the big room is like Zouk, but like for Sherry, it's more of like the sexy Alma Piano, Bila yeah. Funk. More of like the Austin Mills kind yeah, of type. There, yeah. Honestly, think, there's a lot of DJs blowing up off like those YouTube like mixes too. My bad. Bro, <laughs> record them, record them, upload, put them, them out. Yeah. 
The problem is, like he said, if you're still going to be PJ, the open format guy, like, you know how you had to make a decision? Like, yeah, like fucking I'm only going to do one. Like, uh, I'm not going to work at moving and islands. Yeah. You got to You got to make a choice. Like you can't go all in at this club, record your sets, do your logo to have more of that vibe, which is also important. Right. Uh-huh. So I'm not against the rebrand, but but it's it's a lot more than that, right? Yeah. And then you go and do fucking another club, Sevilla's, and then you're playing bottoms up, bottoms up. <laughs> <laughs> it's confusing. It is confusing because <laughs> yeah, like so. I think you don't dead PJ, but the birth of Peach. Okay. <laughs> and, and it doesn't have to be Peach, but the birth of something yeah. new, and that's. I'll tell you one thing right now, bro. That club at the at the Paris mm-hmm. Chateau, what's it called again? Cherie. Cherie. They're not booking you because you're DJ PJ, bro. They know you can handle the room. Yeah. If you came to them, be like, hey guys, I got a new name, blah, blah, blah. Cool, send us your assets. They ain't going to cut you because you're DJ PJ from the fucking midday mix. True. That's true. Good idea. Thank you, man. Hey, I, man. I needed this, you know? <laughs> yeah, no. This. Oh, by the way, uh, we were supposed to mention it earlier, but this is PJ's first podcast. Yep. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah. That's amazing. First one, yeah. How's it feel so far? It feels good, man. It's I fun, feel huh? like, Yeah, it's fun. I feel like we're just talking. Yeah, yeah we just, are. Yeah. Shooting the shit. You know, like just being our natural self, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Five is going to do a rebrand, too. Oh, nice. Yeah. We're dropping the DJ this year. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Really? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> everybody, that's like the thing everybody does. Five yeah. ski? No, I mean. No, I'm kidding. Five, ooh. Five skis, your house name. And with two eyes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought about that. Five ski, the house cat. <laughs> 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 I'm down. Uh, oh, man. Or yeah. a, a cat helmet? Nah, just be your... Just, <laughs> Where, uh, where just a, paint a cat whiskers, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Whiskers. Oh man, <laughs> uh, no, but yeah, I, I think okay, I think there's something there, bro. And, and, Thank and, you. and the, the hardest part is having the vision and the and where you want to go. Seems like you already have that, yeah. You know what you like to play, you know, you know what you want it to sound like mm-hmm. now. Now you got to do what you want it to look like, and then you got to do it, which yeah. is the hard part. And, and I'm speaking to myself, like, I, I struggle with execution. Yeah. I, I, ideas all day. But executing is really, it's a whole other beast, bro. And I, I struggle with that shit. Same. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and obviously in the future, too, I would love to, like, bring on, like, like guest DJs that play that certain yeah. type of genre. Yeah. So yeah. They, I, it can be, like, he can spread the awareness of, like, what's going on. And just keep going. And because I've seen, like, you know, like what you guys said on the podcast, like, even these types of genres, parties, like RB parties, are blown up over the clubs, the normal right. clubs. Yeah. So I can possibly do that with Cherie or even something here local, start mm-hmm. a bar, maybe like as big as this room, yeah. mm-hmm. and just start less pressure. The less pressure on those, too. You know? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I highly recommend. And that's easy, bro. It's easy for you to come up with. A whole concept. Start you start it off, and then find people that do that same lane, and then have them record sets for you and yeah. put it on your YouTube page. It's all yeah. it's all living there. It's all branded. And people are like, "What is this?" And then guess what? IRL. Yeah. You from YouTube to the to the club, and then yeah. and then your shit got enough traction where you go to the what's it called? Chateau, Cherie. Cherie, Cherie. Yeah. And be like, "Hey, <laughs> I want my own monthly." Like I don't want to just DJ here. I want to brand it. This is my yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. And then guess what? Bingo. True. Peach Saturday. <laughs> put, in the, <laughs> put in the legwork already. You know. Yeah, for sure. Make it easy for them. And hopefully, I can do a guest set on the Fade University too. You know. Oh uh, yeah. Wait, you're wait. I've done one in the past. Okay. Mm, yeah. yeah. But I'm down. I'm scheduling them. Uh, yeah. Right now. I'll tell you what. As Fade a kickoff, U- I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Fade University, and then you could do one on on. Try it because even oh, my yeah. Try It Records is going yeah, through so identity crisis. But <laughs> 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 what I mean by that, I'll, it, it, you know, it, it's hard to kind of be what I thought it would be, mm-hmm. and what I thought it would be what was going to be like. Uh, what I love to listen to is like the vinyl, like 
jazz, like hip hop, like very background music while mm -hmm. people study and create. Or uh, do the laundry. But now it's just like people want to just come and do what they want, which is a lovely. Yeah. Like, yo, I want like fashion was going to do a yacht rock set, which I was like, okay, oh, that didn't fit the vibe. But yeah, do it like that. I want you to do what you, he ended up doing like a blog house, which was incredible. Mm -hmm. And then ever, yo, I love this, this house music. I don't even know what type of house he, really? it was. He was playing like a little bit of disco house, a little bit of like, just like very chill house. Incredible. And I, I, I he just did a set. I saw. So it's now become a page where like people are just, it's going to be hard to grow to one fan base, but that's fine. Nah, it's that's just, it's just a place where people could play what they want. So yeah. if, if you're, yeah, I'm, I'm only going to uh, invite you if, if it's a rebrand. <laughs> yeah. Not, sure. not DJ yeah, PJ. Correct. Yeah. I'll let you know when no pressure, but yeah. you know, once I get everything aligned, I'll, be yeah. like, I'll hit you up. I'll hit, yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Can't wait for you to have all my 400 viewers. <laughs> hey, man. Nah, it's popping. You, you never know, though, man. Lately. No, yeah. it's growing. It's growing. It's actually growing. Like that. It's it's starting to like get recommended. So, yeah. shit, it's starting to hit the algorithms. We're starting to hit like what a couple thousand views. Yeah, like, from like a couple months. Melody ago. started off, and then like his shit just took I, off. I, I Where's heard Melody? Like, he's like 15,000. Damn. <clears throat> but that one happened fast, which I was like, uh, came in a little cocky. I was like, oh, YouTube does all the work for you. Yeah. And then we did like Gene Hope and it's just like sat at like 300, damn. 400. And I was just like, damn, okay. And then uploaded another one, uploaded another one, upload. And then I think YouTube, they they wanted to like get you excited. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to our platform, your yeah. first video. And he does mixes from on YouTube. Yeah. So they were coming from his page. So oh, yeah. after they'd watch his, it'd come to mine, whatever. So the other ones weren't getting that type of love. And then I started seeing that the more you upload, the more YouTube like Got accepts it. you. Like, oh, you you fuck with our platform. Here's some love recommended here, recommended there. He's a regular. So, <laughs> yeah, he's a regular. So it's starting to work. But yeah, little by little. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so rebrand is on. Is on the platform. On the, I would say like on the menu for, on for the 2024. Menu. Uh, obviously taking care of Do we have a timeline kid. of uh, when we should I would say it? maybe... In between second and third quarter, so probably around June and July, I want to have everything in line. Oh, okay. And just ready, already going, but full blast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, all you got to do, <clears throat> write it down, bro. It's step by step mm -hmm. and one task at a time. It, I'll tell you, it feels so nice crossing off one of those lines oh, in a sure. notebook. I know. As small as a task can be. Cross that shit off or a little highlighter. It's nice. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that means you're just you're getting shit done. You yeah. know? It's nice. I, I yeah. Know. Anything else, guys? Oh, by the way, I played your edit uh, a couple of days ago. Which uh, one? It was an old one. It was with you and Epic 12. Beware oh, of the, uh, the, uh, Beware Beware of the, the boys. boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still goes hard, Punjabi. man. The club. Yeah. You know what's crazy? I, I had that one for like a year or two, maybe more, before I played it for Epic 12. Really? And he liked it and, and it wasn't done. It was like, I didn't, I didn't, that's why I never released it. It was just like, eh. So I was like, here, if you want to mess with it, like, like take a step, crack at it. And then he like fixed up the drums and, nice. and like added his touch to it. And then, and then he sent it back to me, and it was a little legit like collab. Like we went back and forth like a couple times. Mm -hmm. and yeah, damn, I forgot about that one. Yeah, it still goes hard, man. Yeah, damn, yeah. I got to bring it back. Vegas, L.A., O.C. I got to put it on hard. my USB. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not in there. But speaking of sticks too, I'm on sticks as well, and that's well, like I hope so. If you're gonna be a house DJ, yeah. oh for sure, yeah, ditch the laptop, Can't be well, yeah, over the laptop. I'll, I'll still do both. Like if How I how long know, have you been on USB? Um, ever since I started doing Zook, so that was like I would say. Probably August of 2023. Nice. Oh, yeah. Shit. So are you full on? Oh, no, you had the laptop in. At the, because uh, I knew New Year's Eve was going to be like more. It can yeah. go either direction. Yeah, I use my laptop too. Yeah, I saw that too. And that's I didn't what know. I had asked you before. But as far as Zook. It's like, like a corporate party, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, she exactly. Was, yeah, it was like but it was like interesting crowd. As far as Zook, I was like, I know what I'm going to play. And it's going to be yeah. 128 BPM and nothing else. Yeah. I can go up and down with transition records. But I knew what I was gonna yeah. play. Yeah, you Dude, know what I love? Yeah. I love 
I I think I'm always going to be on both on up. I'm never going to just like ditch Serato. Yeah. Like I still love Serato. I have a Rev 7. Love the Rev 7. Me too. That's just yeah. Serato. Mm-hmm. But I always want to have both of them up up to date and war ready. Because yeah. you just never know. Like for a great yeah. example was, New was the New Year's yeah. Eve. But also like I started paying attention to people like A-Track. Uh-huh. He's on both all the time. Yeah. There'll be some festivals he's just on USB. There's be some events he's on Serato and on turntables too. Yeah. And on his like video uploads, he'd, he'll do Serato, you know? Now, let me so. ask you this. Like, what are you guys using to convert? Because um, I use DJ CU, DJ Com- uh, Conversion Unit. Yeah, I, I had that for say, like, yeah. a, like a week. D- you don't and like I it? Dished it. Uh, yeah, we use... I... No. Yeah. No. I we like, met the guy at Nam actually. Remember yeah, he's an old guy. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But no, we're on Lexicon. Yeah, Lexicon. Lexicon. Is it way better than DJCU since you've used both? I, I don't, I don't want to say way better because I didn't give the other one that lo- much of a chance. Mm-hmm. Um, same idea though. But yeah. Sa- yeah, I think it's same idea. Upload from Serato and then transfer to Recordbox. It just felt like I was on yeah. Windows ninety eight. Yeah, that's what. It, <laughs> <laughs> where but I the, was just like. But the same thing with like, because with DJCU, if I'm setting a cue point on Serato. And I put into DJCU and then I transferred to yeah. Record Box. That same shit. point is still on there. Same same thing. Okay, that's the Lexicon? point. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because if not, we're just going straight to Record Box. Yeah. But yeah. that's Hopefully, the point. Yeah. Lexicon is giving you the the cue points and and all the the loops and everything. Yeah, okay, from Hopefully they, from Serato. Yeah, integrated the two programs soon yeah. because they bought Serato, right? So so I think uh, that's yeah. gonna happen. It Ooh. should happen. I haven't heard anything though. It would be fuck. Damn. Our lives would be so much easier. I want to say, yeah, I I can see. I can see Serato being just ready for USBs. Yeah. Plug in wow. USB and transfer. Wow. Yeah. I, I can see that. That'd be hot. There's no way it's not happening. No, they're seeing the money they're losing from, you know, the other third party programs. Might as well. Yeah. I've even thought about buying the DJ controller, which was the DJ, I think it's a ZX or ZC. Yeah. That uses USB, right? USB. Yeah, yeah, and mm-hmm. you can do laptop too. But yeah. I was like, man, I have a Rev 7 and I have a ZX and I, a little boy. I'm like, I have <laughs> I have both of them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, both. Yeah, and and it's not the same. Rev Seven and a ZX or ZC, whatever it's called. So I, Vice actually let me borrow his. It's the one of those the that uses. Yeah. Up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know which one it is, but I have it. Like I have his at the house, and I didn't love it. Really? No, I didn't love it. Rev Seven, love. Yes, love. <laughs> it's that like a toy, thing. man. It's it feels so like vinyl, it's incredible. Yeah. The other one, I, I use it just because I want to make sure like my it's playlists there, are in yeah. there. Got it. But Function, oh, like oh man, <laughs> not down with it. It's all about the three thousands for bro. sure. I need to get some of those. <laughs> yeah. Santa, and he asked Santa. I, I just saw that they're recently on sale on Guitar Center too. What three thousands? Yeah. So they're on sale, but they're not in stock. <laughs> oh, uh, I mean like twenty five hundred or so. I think twenty five hundred each, but oh. but uh, they're like they'll ship them to you. I, I, I was ready to pull up. Damn. <laughs> Hey man, invest invest in yourself. That's bro. true. That's true. That's one of the things that like I will never ever hesitate or question uh-huh. is equipment for what we yeah. do for a living. This is your tools. You're t- you're you need your tools, bro. Uh-huh. And and they're write offs. Yes. I know indeed. people like question like, damn, I need a new laptop, but like, nah. I have, look at these new Jordans. You know, it's just like <laughs> got the fucking all new white. shoes. <laughs> yeah, look at all, all the the freshest gear, but they're. 2013 laptop and it's just like bro like this is what you do for a living Uh yeah this is what you do for a living like invest i never hesitate with laptops man Mm -hmm. like no i used to buy one a new one every year so now i do again would you sell your old laptop or would you use (laughs) as backup i was just looking at a stack of 2015 16 17 i i I typically hand them off to like family members and then but i have a few you want to know what's so funny is that like when I was on the street team, I think on Craigslist I saw Eric uh, Deluxe's laptop. <laughs> no, it was oh. Sour Milk's laptop. Oh really? Wow. <laughs> like he was selling it or it someone? Was, he was selling it with the Power 106 library included, oh. and it was like two thousand. That scratchy ripped. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I was yeah, like, back Damn. before Serato, bro. That's a, yeah. this is a story. Before Serato, well, Serato came out, like. Early days of Serato. 2004 ish, right? yeah. Yeah, 2004. So that's when Echo was working at Power 106. Okay. And he was like, yo, Serato's a new thing, but we don't have MP3s. So he's like, but Power, we have all these CDs. 
So he's every like every CD, so he's singles, yeah, instrumental, like acapella, instrumental dirty clean on CD, bro. So Echo was like, "Yo, you want to come to the the station uh-huh. and burn these, or is it rip, rip or rip, rip, rip these yeah. CDs yeah. and pour them or whatever rip?" So I would go there like during the week, every day, and fucking rip all these MP3. So I mean, a lot of these MP3s that these DJs use, I ripped, bro, from the Power that library, uh, library became. S- the biggest Wait, bi- hoe. <laughs> Everyone had because it. Because I think I had it too, and I oh, paid you had for it. it. I paid someone for it like 150 People were making money People were of selling it. It, it was, yes, it was categorizing f- folders, right? Yeah. Like uh, hip-hop. No. Like know. really categorized. And at the end, it said like parentheses 32 if it was an eight bar. Was that Oh, no. That's... No. no. I mean, someone, was, someone must have like... Organized it version, Yeah, maybe. versions yeah. went on. But like if so... If you have like... Clean, dirty, instrumental acapella of random like that's singles. From, that's from Scratchy. Power 106. Like three LW or whoever. How many songs? Yeah, yeah. Chances are he ripped it. a lot though. Yeah, whatever yeah. they had at the station, Damn. we ripped them all. Damn. Yeah. If you have Let's Play House instrumental, wow. Chances are Scratchy <laughs> yeah. imported it. But yeah, I'm selling his Let's library house. with the laptop included. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, damn, that seems pretty good. Legit. Like, it's all, like, organized. Did you buy it? No, I didn't buy it. <laughs> it was, like, this is before you were on power? This was on, well, I was on the street on? team. Okay. Yeah. Mm, that's funny. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> like milk. That's so funny. <laughs> I need that uh, Ray J One Wish instrumental. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure that's in there. <laughs> Acapella? <laughs> damn. Well, Wait, with so Serato stems now, you don't have to do that yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Press a button. True. Dude, I saw the, the new NPC has stems oh Ooh. shit really yeah Damn. scythe sent me a fucking video bro the new npc literally it was like uh, uh james brown i don't know some marvin gay some song that the guy was doing and he would just hit the thing and Damn. boom drums are gone Damn. Boom, music's gone acapella's gone oh, like just shit. all in so there you load stems. the song in and then yeah so you could just sample straight from the NPC. I'm gonna get one. Crazy. Yeah, I mean too. <laughs> wow. Scythe. That's crazy. I'll let Scythe get one. I'll just How much? Use it. I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. NPCs are not cheap, so I've it's always not, wanted an NPC. I used to have an NPC 1000, uh, the man. blue one. Yeah. It just came it's out. Like a mini. That was like a small. It was like one. a yeah. small one, and then I was like, this shit sucks. So I like sold it. Fuck. I forgot which one I had. And then I got a 2000 XL, and then sold that too. Uh, I don't have any anymore Damn. um <laughs> wait so how often are you on usbs now Full i would say every vegas gig i'm on usbs even uh what's it called Cherie. 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 yeah okay <laughs> oh, bro it's like <laughs> most yeah, usbs and but then like if i'm like what you said if i'm doing like an, a gig in la or ie or oc i have to be on laptop because yeah. it can go hip-hop right away but you so know? you're not comfortable doing open format yet on on USBs. sticks no no no, oh, man. mainly EDM. You and gotta like, switch that up, bro. I know, yeah. I know. We're, we're doing full on, full on. I, uh, open I know. Format. I opened up for for five at IU, and he did a great <laughs> job of sticks on hip hop. Oh shit, that's right. Yeah. We did a gig. Not one. Using sticks, him. bro. I was like, <laughs> heavily impressed. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no yeah, scratchy. That's it. Not when I heard him. <laughs> oh, 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 no, that's the very first time. No, early <laughs> on, early on. Holy moly, it was rough. I think because Deluxe was on a Deluxe was on laptop, and I'm like, you know, fuck this shit. Cause you know what? There's no space in the DJ booth. So I'm like, yeah, let's yeah. save like the headache. Oh man, it was rough. <laughs> it gave us all a headache. Yeah. <laughs> 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 now we could be honest with him. He, he knows. Yeah, yeah. I think you brought your laptop no, out mid set. No, yeah. I think I just like fuck it. I was like, you finish the night. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what happened. Oh, but that man. was like, literally. I think he. Got the USBs like the day before. Oh, like okay. it was, yeah, like, yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, just, yeah. he was too cocky, bro. Like, I had just know. done the lexicon, didn't even practice, mm-hmm. <laughs> and you know, had to put those old ears and work to work. And I'm like, holy shit, dude. yeah. <laughs> and we're lit too, so it didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, now it's like you know more organized and like just used to it now. So. All right, what's the first step, PJ? Um, New name or or just rebrand? I would say rebrand and then First? new name. Yeah, okay. I'm thinking about Peach. That's a good idea, though. Like, how does it spell? E E J. I don't know how many E's. So okay. like maybe Peach. Whatever is available on Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna determine how many E's. But yeah, I've been wanting to do this too for so long, and I feel like me 
kind of like stepping away from Power 106. It kind of like, okay, like, you know, I got married. I had a kid. I still have a kid, but obviously now let's, let's go. go time. Yeah, let's go. Nice. Love that. Yeah. Dope, dope. Cool, man. Well, Thank shit. You. PJ, love you, bro. Proud of you. Yeah, Thank man. you, guys. Thank Congrats you guys for having me. Again. It's a lot of fun. We'll do a... I guess uh, end of the year update. Follow up. Yeah, yeah. follow yeah, follow up. And see yeah. how where I've gone to or where I've traveled. I have a few <laughs> guests we gotta do follow ups with. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah. All right. And we'll see what we'll, we'll hold you to it too. Accountable? Okay. Yeah, very yeah. accountable. we we'll we'll see uh yeah, I mean, you guys what? are putting pressure on me now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's got us. That, yeah, thank you. you need though, the man. pressure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We work better under pressure sometimes, mm-hmm. you know? Pressure cooks rice and <laughs> diamonds. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it makes diamonds. <laughs> Does it? I just heard about uh, um, lab-made diamonds. Never heard. I never yeah, knew that yeah. was a, a thing. And they're... Now it's a thing. Yeah. Wow. Did you know about that? No, I didn't. And yeah. they're like So legit. you know, like diamonds are... Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, 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 uh, you mine them. them. mine you mine them. them and, and people... Yeah. And there's a lot of crime. Yeah. And people are getting killed and shit um terrible a lot of people don't really like diamonds and then they started doing lab diamonds Mm -hmm. i'm not going to speak much on it because i don't know i just heard about this but apparently like the price is way cheaper really and you can't even tell the difference like there's there's like very subtle differences and that those are getting better and better every time to so they're going to get it to a point where like an expert will look at the two and not tell the yep. difference. Shit, it's over for way cheaper of a price. Wow, dang! You're you're researching diamonds? <laughs> no, I'm, uh, Mundo. Uh-oh. Mundo. Uh-oh. No, I have friends that are engaged, and they were all like Mundo yeah, and Izzo. Yeah. Actually, and, Jimmy was talking all, about that. They were all talking about, it and I was yeah. just like listening in. Mm-hmm. So no, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. but it's like half the if, price though. But if diamond the, earrings, if the time, I, I actually. Oh, yeah. you used to have you used to have a uh, huge diamond re- earrings. Oh, I remember before. that too in, in your yeah. stage. Both. Yeah, I did. Real, real diamond, of course. Real diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there, yeah. There's a part too where I remember Eric was like, someone asked him like at Power 106, right? Uh huh. It might have been Jenny, the receptionist at, at the time, but she was like, Eric, do you ever like, w- would you ever get any tattoos on your body? And you're like, you can't put stickers on a Lamborghini. <laughs> yeah, I did say that. Yeah, you, you can't say put. That. You can't and put. This guy's tatted up now. You can't put bumper stickers oh. on a Ferrari. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And well, you know what happened? happened? <laughs> I never got a Ferrari. <laughs> You could put bumper stickers on a Honda, which I am a Honda. So that's what happened. So yes, I do remember that. Probably thought I was a Ferrari at one point in my life and then realized I was a fucking Camry. <laughs> Camrys are dope. Camrys are dope. I love Camrys. That was my first they last car. Forever. Durable. Yeah. Love Camrys. Yeah. Actually, I'm I'm going back to Toyota. Really? Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah. Waiting Land for Cruiser? it to come out. I want the new Land Cruiser. Wow. Insane. They're dope. It's so hot. Yeah. All right, PJ, we love you, bro. Thank you so much. Of course, Peach. thank you guys for having us. Thanks, Peach. <laughs> if you guys know PJ, make sure you, you pressure him every time you see him. Yep. And question him on his uh, update on the rebrand and the yep. perhaps production. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Events, parties, whatnot. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Well, thank you guys for listening, for watching. If you're on YouTube, if you're on YouTube, make sure you like, subscribe, all that stuff. Subscribe. Do they follow? Is this a subscribe, right? It's a, a subscribe is yeah. a follow. So yeah. subscribe. Nice. I know everyone's used to like the word subscribe. Hit the like button. I know everyone, <laughs> everyone's used to the the subscribe meaning fucking Twitch. five dollars a month, yeah. but this is just a follow. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to pay. Nice. But yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. Peace. Peace.